started. We're live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Reese's uh, Cub low in the building. Reese's. Oh my God, bro. They got these Reese's sticks. It's like Reese's, but like in wafer form. Oh my God. Say <laughs> swear. Nigga, swear. You're, hey, you're late by like seven. No, no, no. no. I've been, ever since I moved here, I've been, I've been eating those like at least once a month. So they must not be in Canada. Yeah, they're not. Okay. Have uh, they been around for years here? Yeah, that's an old thing. I'm oh allergic, my God. I'm allergic to peanut butter, so I wouldn't know. You allergic to nuts that's too? so huh? sad. You allergic to nuts too? Yeah, I've been not since I was a G. This is my, my That's OG. what I'm saying. So you're allergic to nuts. All nuts. You know what's so crazy? I'm allergic to nuts as well, but I can still eat peanut butter. Even cashews? Oh, so you like nuts? No, I, I just said I'm allergic to nuts, but I can eat peanut butter though. You ever like it? Uh, oh. You ever get like, like a, the creamy stuff that comes Whoa. out of nuts? The you know those chocolate creamy covered? stuff that comes out of nuts? The creamy stuff that comes out of the nuts? Yeah, like when they get the nuts and they just work them and the cream. Hey! Like, what? <laughs> what? What's up with you, bro? We just started getting monetized. Stop. Stop. We're talking about peanut butter right now. What's wrong with this guy, bro? You talking about the creamy stuff that you gather now once you work it? Yeah, when you work it. You work it out? You yeah, actually, work no. it out and then, and like, That's it facts, comes nice when you get those chocolate covered almonds, you got to suck on it to get to the nut. Oh, wait, wait, what are you talking about? I don't, I can't, I can't, nah, that's You never nah. had those? You, you sucking on chocolate nuts? <laughs> Sucking the you checking on just to get to the nut just to get to the, hey, just to get we, to the nut. Can we real quick reflect on the How last? Those nuts Yo, why were you and your girl so like y'all was so y'all was giving me one liners for the first hour of the podcast? I was like, how do I open y'all up? Because y'all just give me one liners. Can you remember when Dominique was here? You, I could just say like. Uh, peanuts, and then she would have like a monologue about peanuts to talk about. But you guys were like, I don't want to say defensive, but like you weren't like volunteering information. You were answering the question and then never expanding. <laughs> oh, I was about to walk in. Just out of nowhere, I was like, "Nah!" And so for the first hour, I was like, "All right, so this is gonna be like a challenge. Let's see if I could, you know, saying get get some more out of it." You them. failed. No, the second half, you guys were answering plenty of questions. We got I, to know I her a little like, better. Go ahead, give it, give him what he wants. <laughs> What happened? You gotta remove this thing. He asked about removing that thing, or does it don't matter? What does that mean? The little, you know, the little icons on the side. Oh, um, I have no idea. We can't. We're gonna have to do that before the next pod. We weren't anticipating doing a pod today, but AMP days tomorrow. All right, so just zoom out a little bit so you can crop it in. Yeah, bro, my hair is so like deep. It's so tangled, man. So, sorry, it's just <laughs> I'm about it's, to say it's bothering me, this bro. Is what, this is what we lead in with. <laughs> how, tangled, bro, my, how tangled is your hair? Yo, bro, I was laying down the other day, bro. Right? Tell me how I had like six knots in my hair. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? You know what's so crazy. Davis is so concerned about the views he gets on the podcast, and no cap, my girl's podcast might get more views than his. Damn. He needs to get his shit together. One day, first day, 40K, bro. That's very tough, bro. Cloud it up, bro. Is it really Um, 40K first day? Yep. On YouTube alone? Yep. Very tough. (laughs) Very tough. Davis was struggling to hit 80. Shouldn't have that in a day. (laughs) Sucks to be Davis. Facts. Yeah, that is tough, man. Yo, the podcast people listen one and only legend of winning, aka Low. And we here with another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. On my left, I have my co-host. Say what's up, Agent. Yeah, I'm exhausted, man. I just ate some delicious ass hamburgers and I gotta record two <laughs> videos and then wake up at nine because it's AMP days to do videos I don't want to do because they're very, very physical and I'm very, very out of shape. So I'm going through it, bro. And I committed to doing daily on the second channel. So now I'm going extra hard. Um, but I had like a cool little chill last couple of days, though. So I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. I saw you working out. Oh, you peeped that? Yeah, I seen you working out. You saw? Well, you I working just, out? You working out in the in the garage? Yeah, yeah. You might have heard me. I might. Yeah, I heard. Well. I heard you hit a little. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I'm you not gonna make lie. noises sometimes. Right? You gotta let him know. Like I had to let little know. Like I made it here. Whew. You know what I'm saying? You got to make noise. Ah! Just like that, man. Ah! So, ooh. Another round. Ah! Yeah. Yo, you know what? I'm being so serious when I say he's not even exaggerating. Nah, that'd no, be I'm not exaggerating. I'm, he's not, he's not actually. He's, ah! One more round. Ah! No, he not even said one more. Last one. He doesn't say one more rep, so I know what he's doing. I just, just imagine me editing and then just hear edit at like agent just moaning in the back. Yeah, I'm saying, uh, but like, but like, but like, Lowe's uh, Lo was being supportive uh, as fuck, though. Uh, uh, hold on, no. Uh, you being there, lift the weights like that? Uh, I'm no. like, I'm like, I, it, it, you lifting like lift weights? I, 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 I have a little, little, little bit more bass, too. I go like, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, oh. then, and then, boom, that's a rep right there. 175 on the bench. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yup, that's 95 on the overhead press. Of oh, course, yeah. I'm up to 100 next time I come through. You know what I'm saying? So what's the 100 going to sound like? Oh, I'm about to be oh. <laughs> it could be something crazy, <laughs> but it's like it's like tennis though. You enhance your your swing 
when you make sounds, it's like yeah, but uh, no, no, so you don't. I don't have to hear you. But no, I, I do like, have to make noises though. I know, but like I'm not doing it for like voluntarily. What? I know. Okay, <laughs> Wait, but I'm just telling you. To get, I'm telling you to just control it. That's all I'm, I'm I can't just, control it. But hey, I appreciate you came through with the playlist. You know what I'm saying? I heard the Roddy Rich Drake. You know, in the background, I was like, oh shit, it's a vibe right now. Hey. Hey. You playing vibe? And then you played it again. And again, and you play like five times, oh, and wow. I was like, "You might want to." I might just. I think I just left out there. You one of oh. those. <laughs> you one of those. Yeah. Actually, no. I was editing, so I actually didn't care what was being played in the background. You know what I'm saying? But Drake did say this real quote: "Your foreign is used." I looked at the VIN. <laughs> Yo, Drake. Crazy. Drake is so crazy. He looks up the VINs just to make sure that your car is new. Man, that's a sick nigga right there. <laughs> If a nigga start looking at my van to try to figure my car facts, that nigga is sick, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, when when he said the shit was new, that bumper been did it in 08. Yeah. Exactly. Know about it. Yeah. That shit, that's a sick nigga. Are you the first owner? Real. Okay. Yeah, you're not even the first owner. Yeah, that shit turned Drake on. That nigga Susan was in that Johnson ring a bell. <laughs> she owned it in 010. Do 010. <laughs> I mean, you got it. That shit was in Dallas. I saw a couple of oil, ch- oil checks in Dallas. I saw that, bro. That shit is not new. Yeah, how can Bust it rotor? Yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah, he does a couple too many check engine lights for me. <laughs> I'll be mad at that nigga. Drake was like, so your, your strut's doing good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I know you ain't got him fixed yet. <laughs> he's like, he's like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, yes, I, I, I peeped it. You got, you had a couple of alignments in there. I'm just trying to check you out real quick. That would be wild if that nigga Drake was just checking your car for you, nigga. That's <laughs> just to prove that. I was, oh, I know it's you, but that was oh. with Davis the other day. We was looking at real estate. You feel me? And uh, we was looking at plots of land, good views, an oasis among, like, just wow, 360 views. You feel me? Uh-huh. And then I, I was like, Davis, let me show you this other view. It's right in the next neighborhood. He, you know, he got in the car. Uh, uh, uh. Man, I booted up the car, bro. No exaggeration. Check engine light went off. And this is my Audi, by the way. Oh, and I that just, sucks. I immediately thought about Drake. I was like, what would Drake be thinking right now? <laughs> that nigga Drake, Drake like, found out I didn't buy like, that new, yo. Oh, he's like, yeah, it's, I knew he'd he probably sing it to you, too. <laughs> I know, you didn't know, I know that your engine light was on, <laughs> but I know. Yeah, so, I, um, so, I, so Davis peeped like, it, though, and Davis was like, yo, bro, you broke? And and so I immediately had to do what everybody does when something's wrong with their electronic device. I turn it off and on. And it was fine after that. Check engine light uh, went away. You mean that <laughs> shit? He's like, yeah, that shit goes, man, nah, let's There's something, it up again, something going wrong, man. It's not, it's not true, bro. That'd be wild. That, but I mean, it's going to just kick back on later on, just to let you know that. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Because you, you did that last time when I was like, no, that's not how that works. Pretty just sure just to let you know. Pretty sure I solved the problem. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your car was stuck down, down the uh, next door neighbor house for a couple of days. Huh? That time where I told you, no, nah, that's, that's not a normal thing when you just try to recrank up your car. And he was like, nah, nothing wrong with it. He was like, it's probably oh, yeah. the battery on your lane. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just it just stopped on you down down the um down the street. Miss those, man. Miss those days. Any nigga no. that does that with his head behind his back, ah, nothing wrong with it. He got a yeah. lot of shit that broke in his I life. I swear, he did I, it like two or three times with, with the Range Rover. <laughs> I, I was like, like nah, there's something wrong with it. <laughs> nah, it's straight. Just, just hit the back. Close the got- trunk three times. It's like a go. code to it, though. You just got to put in the code. And then I was like, yeah, like if it just cut out on you, it's probably the alternator. He was like. No, we just charge up the battery. It'll be the cool. battery and it's probably good. We yeah. was outside in the cold around this time of year, <laughs> trying to crank up a car. Where I'm like, it's the I know it's the alternator. Mm. No, you not. didn't, bro. Stop. You, you didn't. Stop. You you predicted that it possibly could have been, but because we, all the signs pointed to that it no, would be. No, no, you stop. You're mechanics twisting. do that all the time. You think mechanics can just look at a car and be what? like, "What are you alone? Oh yeah, I know what that. What's wrong with it? They're no. predicting what's wrong with it. Yeah, but you're not a mechanic. In fact, you don't even know how to fucking uh, <laughs> charge the battery, bro. Oh, we supposed to put it on the um, what you call it? Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. But I ain't never seen uh-huh. nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. But however, uh-huh. it still wasn't the battery. <laughs> yeah, no, but I got that shit handled. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes <laughs> like, you gotta get you gotta get shit handled. Handled. And, and, and you could get it done professionally. You could do it yourself, DIY. Um, but no matter which way you do it, not no Range Rover. Nah, you things. gotta always. I got a drivetrain uh, engine light on my uh, M4. You know what I'm saying? That's just no basically saying, that like, means. you should probably put this in comfort mode every once in a while. We you know saw some M4 the other day. That's um, Lee said that you said it's the best M4 in the city or something like that. That's mine? I hope you're talking about mine. It was, Apparently it was not. some gray one that you say y'all see all the time. Oh, great. yeah, my car is gray. I just wrapped it. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> no, he's talking about a regular gray one that's better than yours. It was, a, it was an M4. Oh, there is an M4 that's all carbon fiber in Atlanta. Like, the whole thing. And it's better than yours. Without a doubt. 
Yeah. And it's and it's no. It's so you have the second. Uh, no, no, no. In terms of like, so you had second. Oh, you know what the guy told yeah, me? Wait, are you broke? Yeah, a little bit. Ah, is struggling. You you know, the guy told me uh, they put a hundred thousand dollars after the purchase of the car into the car. So that's a two hundred thousand dollar M4. So you broke. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, you broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have that kind of money. You broke. Yeah, why? Why? Why not just go all out? I I spent like twenty five on mine. That's, is that going all out? For me, it is. Nah, hundred <laughs> another hundred thousand. Actually, I probably put like thirty into my shit. Another hundred thousand. So that's not. That's not. Nothing, that's nothing man. for you. Coming from the guy with the old is Highlander. Is it used? <laughs> is it used? The, the M4. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. We talked Drake about it. <laughs> what you say? What you say? So, what's, yeah. what's that VIN? What's that VIN? What's, 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 what's that? What's the VIN? <laughs> hey, yo, pull up car facts real quick. What's the VIN, nigga? Where's your VIN? Because I swear, if I see it. if I see any oil changes in any other state outside of Atlanta, nigga, I travel, bro. Nah, nah, I nah. travel, bro. I, travel. Like, nah, I was, I was in, I was in Texas. A couple weekends ago, that's yeah, what that was. Yeah, I was yeah, just getting yeah. it. I'd be going out. back and forth in Texas. This is you know, a Jamaican zip code. Where is this? <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica took it has overseas? Post, well, actually, I don't came know. Came overseas? Hell. I think Jamaica has postal codes. <laughs> it was Utah, a Utah zip code. It's like, niggas never been in Salt Lake a day in his life. <laughs> All of a sudden, you just have a, a Utah zip code attached to that. Yo, before we keep going, uh, oh yeah, John, you want to say something? Because hmm? we saw an intro, so. <laughs> you want to say something, John? Oh. Do I? Say something, John. People want to hear you. Oh, oh we're going to have to put a camera on John. It's, it's outside the house right now. We just haven't brought it in. Um, less. They want to see my face? Yeah, they said, like, we want to see. The girls do? No, I think it's, it's a, a bunch kid, of most kids. Most likely. Oh, yeah. kid? Boys. I said boys? The, the youngest. <laughs> all the boys want to see my face? <laughs> all right, buddy. Chill out, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's all love. It's all love. We love the kids. We love the kids. I mean, it's all love, right, Lo? You love the kids. You don't we love kids? have a party for the kids. Buy all the kids. Give them candy. Stuff okay. like that. Low, you can cook. Agent, we can tag team the kitchen and cook for the kids. All that. We love y'all, man. That's what I want to say to the kids. I love y'all, man. Facts. We love the kids, bro. Why? Why are you? Why are you entertaining? Them? No, you, so don't, much, you don't. You don't want the kids. Wow. Yeah, you know what? I, I was. Yo, can I, I finish the intro real quick? Sorry. Can I just say this one thing? Yeah. I think it's yo, bro. I was I was outside, right? Man, it was this cute toddler. Man, you were just waddling around, and now this cute ass toddler, bro. <laughs> Yo, this cute toddler just bumped into me, right? And so I'm like, what the fuck is it? I thought it was a pet or something at first. And I looked down and it was just a toddler. It was just a white toddler. And, Caucasian. <laughs> and then the mom cut the corner and gave me the nastiest look. I'm like, you need to take care of your toddler. He's yeah, she needs to. No, she needs she to. Just, he just bumped into me. I'm supposed to just keep looking oh, straight. Oh, it's the, it's the toddler's <laughs> fault for just getting lost for a second. And bumping into <laughs> yes, you. Yes. I'm like, man, God damn. Also, like, if you if you lose your kid, right, and he bumps into a stranger, <laughs> I should have I should have cussed her out right there just because that look she gave me. Like, I remember as a kid, I got um, lost in Walmart and I went to the customer service and, tell, and told her my mom was lost. <laughs> of course. <laughs> my mom was lost. <laughs> my mom, she don't know where she's going. I said, excuse me. Um, I'll be my, my mom's, mom's lost. <laughs> I'll be my mom to the customer service so she's always <laughs> lost. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my podcast people on all audio platforms, Google Pay, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Make sure you rate us a five star. Um, I mean, comment toddler, apparently. Yeah. That's, doesn't that bother yeah. you that you're toddler. immediately, like, people just label you as like a, sorry, I'm just trying to think about it. Like, how is, why do I deserve a dirty look for that? Oh, man. Shouldn't so I be giving her dirty looks? In the middle of the intro, huh? Like, I'm not a parent, so yeah. I don't know what that's like, but yeah. your toddler's wandering around this store dirty now. Look, me, you had to extend the dirty look back. So she dirty looked too, you, should be like... I gotta look her back like, this is your kid. Yeah. I ain't touch your kid. He bumped him. into me. He doesn't know. He hasn't had no spatial awareness. He's a toddler. He's like two. Hey, man, go ahead, bro. <laughs> toddler was just... He was wilding, bro. Watch and I wasn't kid. even in the toy section, I swear. Where were you at? I, was in a, I don't even remember, but it was a grocery store, bro. You was you a, said you was in the middle of the street. No, why would a toddler be in the middle of the street? <laughs> well, I, I mean, like, I'm not talking about like y'all, they, they were walking. Oh, no, 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 no. This is at a grocery store. Just cut the corner. Boom. Toddler bumps into me. Then mom cuts the corner. So it was too many people for you to snatch them up. Like I said, yo, shout out to my podcast people on YouTube as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section below if you like the video. And... And make sure you update it when we drop these videos every Monday and Thursday. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can join. No, the gang, 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 gang. And all my people out there on um, word of my people out there on all other platforms, Twitter, Instagram. 
TikTok. And you know TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. of course. I TikTok. seen that the other day, actually. TikTok. Yeah, it was crazy. I seen it. They, I, I don't use TikTok that much, but I got on it because I get bored at night. What you be doing on TikTok? You get bored at night, too? When I get really bored at night, I go on TikTok and I go on Snapchat. And I don't use Snapchat. Snap, so always Snapchat. Ask me for, I'm saying right now, Snapchat is dead. one dry month away from me just to ever forever deleting it. I'm oh, like, it's I'm so dry. Beat you to it, bro. I did that in 2016. Bro, like that's when, no, when it know. updated. Swear. When you it saw, updated, you saw me changed. get heads, so don't like let's catch. That was 2016, bro. So you, you, you just deleted it as soon as you saw like, like, yeah, it. He's like, oh, these niggas, niggas Lows up on him getting his dick sucked. I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> this app is done for. Now I upload I deleted. I stopped using it in 2016. I deleted it when MKBHD made a video saying Instagram is better, and I agreed. Bro, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't think Instagram was better, but once they updated, I didn't like it, and I lost all my streaks, and then just like from there, mm. I mean, we can't get them two hundred days back. I, I can't streaks or what? Snapchat. You, you have no streaks. You don't have no streaks, bro. When you when you snap every day, you start a streak. Yeah. You so get if like you, points, if you miss Snapchat a day, point, streak is over. Over with. You got to talk like to that person daily. every day. That's I how was, I made so I, many friendships through Snapchat, man. Just seeing their face every day. Sometimes be a blank screen. Sometimes it be like something random, but you got to be consistent. Can you imagine you had a streak with like eight people and every day you have to think of eight things to send to eight people? Yeah. I mean, if you got a pretty face, you show your face, but if you're ugly, then you just kind of like show something around. Just surrounding. You know? and it's like you know get know like a panoramic it. view. I was never in a Snapchat like that. Bro? It was, to do a Snapchat streak? was the thing. So Instagram you, was cool, but Snapchat was more discreet. Bro, when DJ Khaled was getting lost on jet skis, Snapchat was lit. You know what I'm saying? And then they just came out with no discovery features. They forced Kardashian news down my fucking throat. And they had obtrusive ads, and so it just it just no longer was a home for me. Nope, personally, it wasn't a home. <clears throat> um, also, I got socks on today. Oh, clap it oh, up! Wow. Yeah, Woo! I knew some were different. I thought the jeans were different. No, and I was like, nope, bitch, they're boot cut. <laughs> they two, they two, they two, they two different type of socks too. Oh, mismatch. Oh, I like that. That's that's what you did on purpose though. Oh wow! Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was in a rush. What? What? What do you say? I don't know. Oh, what? Hey John, stop! I Put was in you. I was in a rush. So I just grabbed some socks. Oh, and the socks got a hole in it. You know what I'm saying? Had to, had to. Just get you, get you like some air. Your foot, of course, my, my feet, foot, my yeah. some, my feet, not my legs. I, I corrected myself. Yeah, socks going on. But feet, you're on not dick legs. though, huh? Get off dick. And you was on toddlers. Hey, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's just everything a bad you joke. said. That's an overall bad joke. Everything you said was weird, bro. What's weird about a toddler bumping into me and then his mom give me a dirty look? No, what'd you say before that? What did I say before that? A oh. cute toddler. Oh yeah, yo, babies are so cute. But that's, it's not. It's only weird if you make it weird. Yeah, because ba- it's like, you, cute. did you see that girl that went viral? That like Rihanna, the little girl that like Rihanna, the baby. You know, I don't, what I, don't I don't see that. No. It's a little girl that looks just like Rihanna in the face. It's the scariest thing. She's like six or seven, and at my job, she came in and I opened the door. She she was like an Uber XL, and then like tinted out, so I never know who's in there. So I opened the door. I how old? At how old is she? Like six or seven, huh. I think. That's a little too old to be cute. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was thinking more like two, three. No, 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 no. Babies. No, No, but think about a girl looking just like Rihanna in the face. I opened a door, I was starstruck. I was like, this is a six year old. This is the cutest girl (laughs) I've ever seen. That's a little weird. That's what I'm saying. That's a little weird. Let's be clear. He said, (laughs) I got starstruck by no, no. But there's there's baby cute, though. You guys don't think babies are cute? So it's not too old. But six year old to be cute, right? I mean, I don't know. It's not like cute, but it's like, (laughs) what what, does a six year old look like? I don't know what a six year old If she's not cute, then what is she? Apparently, I'm trying to think what height is six years old. A six year old is cute, but you got babies are adorable. Ookie gookie, then you get older, you get to cute. Swear, bro. Babies just be saying So what are, what, are, what are 13 year olds? 13 year olds? Uh, at that point, you're <laughs> at that point, you're a demon. You're, what? You're, you're, you're attractive, I guess. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, no. wait, no, 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 yes. I, no, 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 I thought you meant like what? Yes. You, I thought you meant yes. no, 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 no. I thought, hey, no, yes. no, no, no. I thought you meant yes. in that perspective, not no. for me. I thought, you, I thought every, no. 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 I thought every adjective no. has a different. You know, as you get older, no. Like when you, you, no, no. I get what John said. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you, you were a kid. It. You saved it. Yeah, you know you're You're talking from the perspective of if you were that age. Exactly. Okay. Like <laughs> Yo, if you're a grown man. You know, I was like, bro, yeah, 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 yeah. Relax on me. Low. Take a sip. Relax. Lean back. It's all good. <laughs> but we weren't, well, we weren't talking about people of the same age. No. We were talking thought, about how do you view a two-year-old? I didn't know what you, you mean. said. I thought you adorable. Meant, no. I didn't say how you view a six-year-old. You said sick. You said cute. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I how do you view a 13-year-old? I thought you meant in the aspect <laughs> of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that thought. That nigga said, oh, they attracted. Man, I, hey, 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 hey. I don't want hey, kids scared of me. How do you, hey, how you view 16 year olds? I don't want to talk no more. No, they look I, sexy. That's what you no, because I'm thinking, like, you know, when you're a grown man, you don't call a oh. grown man cute. You call him handsome. Nah, fun, sometimes you, know you can call him cute, though. You don't call people your age cute. Like, I mean, not. I mean, if a girl, I, I think she. Well, if a girl true. can call you cute, you true, true. Exactly. I rather she call me fine. Though. Yeah, me too. That's a lot. Okay, so you cute. That means you, eh, you all right. That's nice. But you say the girl, yeah, he's sexy as fuck. He's fine. Now, now I know, like she, yeah, she digging the nigga drip. You know what I'm saying? You feel? It's like how you find them thirteen year olds. You're done. You gotta, you gotta learn how to phrase yourself, that shit man. Was wild. <laughs> See, I'm like, that just that took me out, man. Okay, that's just not what I expected to Yo, hear. This. Yeah, I, <laughs> well, here you oh, go. You heard it here first. Oh shit. Oh shit. We oh, get, we get what you meant, though, John. Yeah, that's what I meant, y'all. You know. I'm waiting on someone to bust in here. <laughs> Oh shit! The SWATs or the FBI? <laughs> oh shit! We actually have a button for that shit too. Yeah. Well, let's go. Yeah, hey, let's switch gears. <laughs> one one yeah. of those buttons. You know, let's switch gears because Jesus. Yeah, switch gears for sure. Oh shit, John! Oh, I tell you how I bagged a forty-three-year-old the other day, yesterday. Actually. Whoa, where? Bro, yeah. How you do that? Wait, hold on, get on set. Get on set. Hmm? Grab a mic. Get on set. You, you, we even got to do that. We got three mics. So got three mic? Yeah. yeah, put it wide. Come on. Damn. Put it on. You put it on what? You have a lot. He's just slurping. What is that? Coke energy? Yeah. Bro, you have to get the diet one, man. Huh? The diet one is sweeter. I'm trying to put him on game, bro. Make sure the level is on. Is the level on? Yeah, they all on. I'm about to say, I was talking to that one in the third time. Yo, okay, let me just double check that real quick. One. Yo, nigga, they all up. I don't know, bro. Nah, <laughs> damn, I'm just trying to make sure, uh, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. I need like a blanket or something on this set. Fuck. Damn. I'm, right, I'm trying to get you know, com- you know. I'm trying to get comfortable. You know. I need you know, to get me a blanket. You a blanket, no? I'm a hat like you. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Put it low. Shit. Where's your hat today? What the hell? Where your hat at, nigga? Oh shit. I got my socks on, so. Yeah. yeah so can't socks. be doing too much. Yeah. You don't yeah, want you to, have to have too much apparel. Yeah. Nah, not too way. much. I'm already getting there sweating in this Either fucking the heads. Full. I swear, niggas want us to like get fully dressed up for I the swear, podcast. You guys know we're in our house. Yeah, <laughs> niggas like, yo, nigga, shit ain't matching. Like, what's going on, nigga? What? Like, as if like we're yo, what supposed. What shoes you wearing? You guys are all, well, not all, but like, hey, ninety five percent of y'all. No, what's what's the demo? Let's say ninety percent are guys. I'm not getting ready for you, bro. I'm just I, no. I, it's I, like ninety five percent. Is it ninety five? So I'm not getting ready. The five percent. No, they want they want they want you to get sexy. <laughs> the five percent, yeah, yeah, attractive. You think so? Stop. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Well, John. Yeah. That word forever, I think. Is so <laughs> forever for the rest of I my can't life. Use that word no more. Somebody say attractive. <laughs> I'm going to default to John looking at fifteen year olds. I swear. No, no, no. Let's not talk about why I'm on the set. No face, no okay. <laughs> no, yeah, let's just talk about. Snatching your face on you. That's what you look like right there. <laughs> Keep my kids away. from parks. Uh, hey, just keep them here for wide. twenty minutes. They'll be here. Yeah. Um, tell oh, your story. Shit. Oh, so we was at a, we was at a little uh, lounge yesterday, right? So we pulled up, and like it was it was kind of deep. Like it was not like crowded, but it was like full. So it was like another section over here, just me and Lee. So he was like, Wait, yeah, "What's yeah. the demo looking like? Hmm? What's the demo looking like? The demo? Because I never been to a, um, a club or a lounge where." Is a forty-three-year-old intermingling with like twenty-year-olds? Yeah, hey, I'm gonna get, get to that. I'm gonna get to that, man. When you what saw happens when you're forty, is there specific lounges for people that's forty? Yeah, actually. Nah, I mean, right? it's, not, it's not specific, but there's definitely lounges. I mean, the demo they call they it dining rooms. Huh? I mean, they can go. No, it's actual lounges. They where, can go anywhere because you got to be twenty-one or older. I get that, I mean, but what I'm saying is, there's normal normally clubs for older people. Like the demo just works its way out. Oh, like, you say demo a demographic? Yeah. What do you think, man? Game demo? I, I was just going oh, like wrong my with demo, it. Like my like, music demo? I didn't know what you were talking about. Like a trial period? Like a trial? I didn't know what he was talking about. I was just so, going wrong with it. So what's the demo? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what's oh, the well. makeup of the people there? Oh, the demographic. All right, so... I piss you off. <laughs> I know I just fuck with you. Um, no, nah, it was like... It was all ages. It was like that whole section was older, older people. And then it was like younger people. Well, I say younger, like twenty six to twenty nine. And then you had like the thirty nine through forty five, forty three, forty two, thirty nine area. I've like that. never been in a, in a. And then you had young folks over here, but I guess that was just a section. They came all together. 
So where's this at? Um, it was over there. I don't want to say the location, but it was not too far from us. I can tell you afterwards though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like like ten minutes from us? Not yeah, probably not even that. Nice. Okay, I know yes. Yeah, it's right up the street. It's cool. Yeah. It's a nice vibe. Yeah, I know. I know. Nice cushions. Yeah, I know. Soft. You know what I'm saying? Good cushions. So I was there, right? We sat there. We sat down. We started smoking a little hookah, right? So she over here just smiling. So I peep over. I look at her. She smile. Of course. I had a, a light little 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 chip sky, little, little yeah. light, light, light smile okay. back. Okay. On my phone was chilling, right? Like yeah. she just peeped the vibe, the aura I give. Mm. Like it, you, you within six feet, I'm gonna grab you. Like you know what I'm saying? Like not regardless grab you, of who you aura, are, huh? Regardless, you think? Yeah, regardless. So I'm just chilling, right? Right now, you can't be saying like grabbing people after you just my call aura. Fifteen year olds attractive. My aura is gonna grab you. Okay. My aura. In that chocolate bar my, you got right. My chakra. Yeah. What's so a back chakra? to the thing. What's a chakra? I keep telling people keep telling me about chakra. Chakra is your inner it's your inner, inner vibe. Energy. You know like Naruto? Vibe. Oh, okay, cool. He doesn't no. watch anime. No, I don't. You don't watch anime? No. You should try you it. Neji hit your chakra points. No, it's, yeah, it's, anime is dope. It's just not for me. <laughs> yeah, it's really. Yeah, it's not for me. It's actually, yeah. it's actually, I think you probably actually like it. You will like anime. Oh no, yeah. I know. I know. You once you watch one, I th- I suggest you watch watch Baki. Once you watch it, not only will you enjoy it, immediately depression. You don't watch anime. Depression. <laughs> it is sad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm well, not gonna lie. Yesterday, I'm like, like Davis, like, I'm about to view a house. You want to come through? Davis said, and I quote, "Nah, I think I'm about to watch anime instead." But anime makes you sad, bro. Because yeah, like niggas, yeah, whole just, family just be dying the first ten minutes. Like you see him get slaughtered. Mom, <laughs> uncle, auntie, all seven cousins, all died, and he's just sitting there like a child. And his dojo trainer. Yeah, his dojo trainer <laughs> come and find him and give That's him up. Literally, a, Sasuke. A is six, it really? I just nigga, make it sit nigga, whole village died. Like yeah, whole think, whole about, whole think about the whole Marietta dying, <laughs> and you just sitting there in your crib. Everybody dead. Now, matter of fact, let's do it. Let's do it another way. Imagine <laughs> all Ethiopians just died, and you're the That's last. You're the last, and last Ethiopian. Ethiopian. He's the last of his kind. He's the last of his Man, kind. Is there a genocide going on? Yeah, he got genocide, right? So that's not well, hard enough. Own people too. Hmm? Imagine if your brother killed all the Ethiopians in the world. Yeah. <laughs> And licked you in your coins. eyes and left you. And, and licked you, yeah. And did it in front of you, killed your parents right in front of you. Many years later, you meet up for the first time and you think you're strong enough, and the nigga whoop your ass and walks away. <laughs> it says you're not ready yet. <laughs> All the anger you have built up for your whole culture getting killed. Yeah, just 15 about. years later, Wait, you was he alive a, for all this? Yeah, he Dude, was there. He was there. Yeah, what he, happened? He's, he came back. <laughs> Everybody was dead. I mean, imagine, imagine if you walked into your mom's, your mom and dad bedroom, and then your brother's like, just slaughtering them, and then just, you go outside and like all your aunts and uncles and everybody, everybody. who's Ethiopian everybody. just died. The BP clerk, the dude at the Jimmy Lou, <laughs> Starbucks employees, everybody. So you never saw another Ethiopian, never, unless you ran into your brother and, he, have and then he beat your ass, beat it bad, <laughs> like he almost killed you, really. And then and then and then, add, and then looked at you like you're still not ready, what, nigga. Wait, what saved him? A, a toe throat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got uh, other, other niggas had to keep saving you, like, bro, you're not ready for him yet. Had to put him with a toad's throat to save this man because he was about a to die. Toad? A toad's throat. It's, How it's, big it's is a long, toad? It's a long story. It's a long story. 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 It must be a big toad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a big long toad. Story. He had to summon it. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I often <laughs> yeah. summon toads at the local pond. A local pond. Yeah. Of course, of course. All right. Yeah. So after you, after you get through oh, yeah. depression. So I got um back to that back to the story. So I got the oil right. So I'm chilling there, right. Oh. So she scoots past me one time, right. She kind of scra- I'm talking about. She got that big badonka donk. She got that big mouth. You know what I'm saying? Big mm. body, okay. g wagon built body. So she like one of them like aunties type shit, right. Okay. So she already lit. She's walked past me. It scraped me. I only think of the body. I said it's kind of tight. I mean, you had to scrape me with it, but no, nah, they do that on purpose. Yeah, she That's walked by. She walked back. She looked back. Started smiling. So. Smile back Okay So like 10 minutes later She went outside She was smoking out there She came back inside She came back A song was playing She just starts twerking Right in front of my face I'm sitting just like this Starts twerking Lee right here Looking at me Starts twerking So she thought I was like one of these Little little kids She was trying to Age test me You know what I'm saying See if I was a mm-hmm. If I was a real You know what I'm saying Yeah. She must not know Who I was Of course I was John So you know what I did Yeah Bye, bye, bye. I started smacking that shit. Okay. On God, she liked that too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Once I did that, it was on. It was on. She went back and sit down. She smiling, shit, biting her lip, putting lip gloss on and shit. Kid you not, she's old enough to be my mom or my mom's friend, whatever. Yeah. Or not. So I smack you gotta, Yeah, your words, got, your worst choice got to be very close. <laughs> yeah, bye, for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm out there Fire up Fire up Fire up You, fire. you, you often describe her As an auntie And you mentioned She's old enough To be your mom Yeah she could be 
So okay, so what happened after that? Uh, after that, she did that. So she went back and sat down, right? So um, she went and sat down, and we just vibing. Some New York music come on. You know, you start then. Hey, hey, you start kicking. You know what I'm saying? They start kicking. So we start getting lit. We dance and everything like that. So then people start slowly leaving. So now it's dwindling down. Like the crowd's a little bit smaller. What, what time is this? Ooh. 3.15 Oh yeah she's trying to fuck Yeah, yeah. What were you waiting for 3.15 yeah, 3.15 So we, You know they started playing the smooth jam You know the cookout music What a, <laughs> yeah. When you driving home from the cookout music You know you play the Kim yeah. And the, yeah. the black So they're playing like old school jam You, you know that Fiasco? No No, no not, Nothing like that um, um, so, um, Music Soul Trial Yeah Tech 9 No You got you got another example Huh Ah uh, uh, Life Jennings Yeah Andre 2000 not sorry, Miss Jackson. Not that today. Not yeah. today. What, what about what? Um, they're playing that song with. Um, Give me the green light. They weren't playing that. Nah, that's John Can't Legend. Yeah, but I'm saying no. Andre 2000 is on that one, so I'm trying to give him a bone. Nah, no. I can't. I, I don't. Thanks, I man. don't know the Appreciate artist, the but I know the song. You ever know? Like you hear the song, yeah, but I know, you don't know that's the, how I know most. most like old it. school music, right? Yeah. So they start playing I just, it. I just use my code. Your code, Agent Zero Zero. And I just get my food delivered personally on Postmates. Oh, you, you it has know nothing to do what we're talking <laughs> so about. That's why, I don't, that's why I haven't been to the cookouts y'all been to. <laughs> because you do what? <laughs> you do, you he don't go, so go to black cookouts because he just has a food delivered Deliver to it him. To oh. Now, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't do cookouts in um. You wouldn't happen to have a cold, would you? Sometimes you go to like, uh, we go to Toronto. Yeah, you got a cold for Postmates? You have a cold? Like, you wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I mean, it's so like you use to get a discount. Zero, zero, but whatever. And how much I get off? Too much. Like, I told him, tone it down. So, like, basically free, like, if I use a code, like, it's... Like uh, basically, legally I can't say that, but something yeah, like you that. use agents, you call agents zero zero, you get for free. <laughs> <laughs> you get for free. Hey, At Postmates. Nah, you know what we used to do as a family is we used to just go to. There's an island outside Toronto called Toronto Island. We yeah. used to just pull up there like once a year, man. Toronto and Island. All the Ethiopian families would just be like having their little cheap fifty dollar uh, uh, things to cook on. What do you call them? Barbecues and grills. Uh, grills. <laughs> grills. <laughs> and then you didn't. Need Hey, the grills. <laughs> nah, that shit was a vibe, man. I miss that shit, bro. Now I now I grill in my fucking backyard. <laughs> that's every, that's what a lot of Americans do, though. They grill I in the backyard. No one grills in the front yard. No, no. Yeah, they <laughs> grill in there. That's what most Americans do. They grill in the backyard. But our backyard is depressing, though, man. What's wrong with it? Like, Lowe just fucked it up. It's just a whole I'll disaster. Beat the shot of you. I'll be, <laughs> no cap. You just messed it up, bro. I'll the whole the thing is a disaster, bro. I'll be the shot of you. All right, then come through tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. <laughs> Nigga thought he was gonna play me, nigga. <laughs> dumbass. No, no, okay. cow. Clean that shit up. No, All nigga. Right, John. <laughs> Shut yeah. up, nigga. So hey, basically, story, let's fast for a little bit. So now that the smooth jams came on, mm-hmm. right? So I'm already standing up. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm just like moving, not like dancing hard, but you know, you be vibing like. Yeah, you know. two stepping. Yeah, yeah, just two stepping. I'm vibing yeah. right. So she walked back in. She dancing. She dancing. <laughs> so I'm just trying my luck. So I hit it with one of these. Come over here. So she come over there, put it on me. Good four five minute dance, smacking it. I'm trying to, you know, you remember you try to trying do, to cuss that. Can you I, try couldn't, to I, I couldn't get it all though. I yeah. get it. I'm, try, I'm trying, trying to figure look, out. I'm trying to assess it. I'm trying yeah. to get it. I'm on it, dancing, all this, da da da. She danced for a little bit, sit down. Then her party, her group leave, right? Yeah. So I just like, yo, put your number on my phone. Got information. She's 43 years old, two kids. That's fine. You, you should be you fucking tonight, right? Hmm? You fucking tonight? I'm gonna that put my business tonight? out there. Huh? What you say? You fucking tonight, right? What you say? You fucking tonight. You should. I mean, because I mean, that's what she's trying to want. She just wants some dick. So she might want a dad, to, like a dad for kids. <clears throat> no, she's want to be that. N- no, that's nope. not want to be. Nope, she's one dick. Okay, yeah. just two kids. How hard could it be? How hard could it be? How hard was it? Huh? How hard was what? What? <laughs> yeah, Yo, you're a weird. Come here. Yeah, you're so weird. You're bro. a weird one, John. Being like weird, her kid, man. like. I'm only a couple more, couple years older than her kid. We're not talking about raising. We're talking about you just fucking because she's forty something. She I wants wonder what to I fuck. do if I go to the crib. Do I tell her nigga go to sleep. No, you just sneak in. If fuck I'm fucking and her, leave. I can tell her tell her kid what to do. Can I? Nah, she probably get pissed oh. off. Can I tell her? What, I can. Just just like uh, go to sleep. She just wants. I don't to care fuck. what your mama said. Go to sleep. She just wants to fuck, John. That's it. Huh? She just wants to fuck. That's I it. know. That's all. Does yeah. she know that? That's why I told you, man. That last podcast, I told you, older woman, they know what they want. Like, exactly. Ain't nothing that's gonna change between us. Like, we, we ain't gonna get married. We exactly. ain't gonna have nothing. Like, she knows what I mean, she wants. You, want. should, you yeah. should at least have a like an open mind about it. She want that stamina no. that's gonna damage her. No, <laughs> exactly. open mind about what? No, huh? no that ain't my soul, <laughs> man. She just wants to fuck, bro. That's it. Of course, she, she want that. No, I just want a that. nigga not going to. She not going to a lounge and randomly dancing with some nigga that getting no relationship. Exactly. She's just testing you out to figure out. 
What you trying to see? Trying to see what I had. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to. She's trying to. You trying to feel that everyone at lounge is is like that. I didn't say Not everyone. to say everybody. I didn't say everyone. I said the women who go there Why are who are forty three. Huh? Why are y'all answering me seriously? No, I'm just nah. saying the women who go there who are forty three who's throwing their ass on any young nigga, they just trying to fuck. Young nigga with that, you got that sauce though. You know what I'm saying? That sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that sauce. Oh, I got that, that sauce too, but I got that sauce. You know what I'm saying? Right here, boy. All niggas get scared when I walk in because they know I got that sauce. You know they're getting dipped on. You know what I'm saying? Huh? They're getting dipped on. <laughs> like chicken niggas? Yeah, they be scared of me. Like little chicken niggas? No, big grown nuggets. <laughs> Full grown. I just realized what he's doing. Over the age of 18 nuggets. <laughs> 18 plus nuggets. I went to Wendy's today, bro. I ain't get nothing. You just pulled up? <laughs> I was How many times have you done that? I've definitely gone up to like Wendy's and Taco Bell where I pulled up and I was like, I would actually just starve. So let me make, <laughs> let me make better decisions. I've done it so many times. It wasn't. Where it I pulled up and I was like, nah, this ain't it. Yeah, no, nah, it wasn't for me though. But. Um, it was four nuggets for 99 cents, right? So I was bored. Now, let me try this little quick little here social experiment, right? And I was like, what if I give him a dollar? Because it's a dollar five cents after tax. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was a dollar four cents. And I was like, he's not going to ask me for this four cents. And um, I gave him a dollar and I looked him in the eyes. And we stopped and looked at each other for like about three, four seconds. And he was like, the five cents? And I was like, <laughs> oh, you need the five cents? And then he was like, yeah, I need the five cents. <laughs> And then I took an absurdly long time to reach in to get him a quarter. And uh, I left with four nuggets. How cheap is that? Like, you have to think, like, how do they even make that profitable? That's not, that's not cheap. 99 cents? For four nuggets? Yes. Birkin, you get 10. Exactly. You get 10. Are you for real? We literally had this conversation like two podcasts 10 for ago. a dollar? Yeah. We had nah. this conversation. $10, you got enough to feed a party. <laughs> get you 100 I nuggets. I never thought about that. So go in there and say, prep me 100 nuggets right now. I better be mad. $20, $20, 200 nuggets. I need 200 nuggets. Oh, oh my God. God. Exactly. They, there's, they, they're doing that with tube meat. There's no other way, bro. Yeah, there's, there's no other way. No it's just other all way. the parts of the chicken that you don't want. So yeah. Tube like meat. the legs, the oh. neck. Huh? The legs. Okay, the neck. neck maybe. Like chicken the hips. Legs. Chicken hips. That's, you the were ass. Thighs, thighs, but all right. Yeah, thighs, yeah. Huh? Thighs. No, I'm talking about the hip, literally. The bone? There's no hip that is connected to the thigh. When they He's talking about the off, adductor, like right here? Yeah, the adductor. He's talking they about the adductor. all of that and they put it with the thigh. So nah, it's the thigh. They just put yeah. it in the Burger King. What about the nuggets. lips? Yeah, they probably, the beak, they probably grind that up. No, I, I didn't stutter. And then the gobbler thing, they probably grind that up too. Yep, and the nose. And the head. The yeah, eyebrows. They, that's probably what that is, no cap. It's, it's probably, probably that'd chicken. That'd be dope. But heads and, if, and like chicken with feet. What yeah, if they just, what if they just took all the senses, like the nose, the eyes, and the ears, blended it together, called it like um, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> that's what they call it. That's, that's literally okay. that's what they yeah, call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken nuggets. I wonder how much is chicken lips just by itself. Just get a pack of chicken, chicken lips. lips. Huh? Man, anybody who would cut the lips off of a chicken and just sell it to you <laughs> is a serial killer. <laughs> and it's like, it's no doubt about I just it. I put it in my broth, you know. <laughs> I like to put chicken lips, chicken lips with soup. my rice. <laughs> imagine ladling chicken out lips on rice. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> how much how much lips you got on. I got three chicken lips on yeah. mine. Yeah, imagine, I got a diced. You know, imagine just ladling out like broth, chicken broth, and you pouring it in somebody's soup, and it's not but like chicken lips just like this falling. Chicken, that just mad. Think about you come home, you just hear somebody arguing like, oh, "Fuck! I ordered six chicken lips. They gave me four. <laughs> Fuck." Or you just grated chicken lips as garnish? But technically, would it be one lip for like, is one, is it's, it? It's a pair of lips. It's a pair of lips. It's a pair of lips. Yeah. yeah so two pair of chicken lips make a beak. You can, you can specialize in the thing too. It's all beaks. Yeah. It's not <laughs> <the> beaks. <laughs> no, but two lips make a beak. So if you John, just have the top if lip. They, if they chopping off the beak in half to give you an individual lip, like here's a bottom <laughs> lip on the beak. No, that's What if you can specialize? Wild. Like yeah. upper lip only? Yeah, upper yeah. If you yeah. Would, like, you that's the upper lip is like white meat and you get the dark yeah. meat, the bottom lip. You know what I'm saying? Like you got thighs and wings. What y'all get? White meat I or dark get a, meat? A six, a six piece Burr? dark lip. Yes, get dark meat every time. Bro, I just get white meat because white meat it it runs out, but the dark meat is always available for some reason. At where? Uh, at least in the KFC and the Popeyes I used to go to. Yeah, because like, most people like the white meat. I actually don't like white meat. Gets if you don't cook it right, it gets dry easy. Dark meat is normally a little bit more juicier. Really? Where's yeah. the, is the dark meat? The bottom half? Where's where's the dark meat? Dark meat is the well. It's what's the black the chickens. 
I, here's the thing, bro. Like, I realized it was a bad joke, but I still needed to say it. Like, it was within, it was within me. It shit had to come out, bro. I couldn't keep it in. Okay. I can't keep it in. So, um, anyway. So you you, you linking with her later tonight, bro? Hmm? Yeah. Are you for real? No. Nah. You can tell us. I got to yeah, he is. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure. Right. No condom, right? right? No condom, right? Don't say too much. No condom, right? Oscar Dean, yeah. 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 Add to the uh, family, uh, yeah. Add to the just, family. Yo, just, just do like a family channel order or something like that. True. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck it. We, we, have, we already had this conversation. But have <laughs> you gotten? Have you gotten to that point where you decided to just fuck older women? Huh? <laughs> not just. I like young. I, I like. No, no, I'm saying, but he needs to get to older like that, though, bro. Yes, I like prefer that. like what? No, like 25 to, to 29. No, that's, nigga, that's still young. That's still young. No, that's older than me. That's just a little bit older. We're not than talking you. about older than you. We're just I talking about old. No, I don't think that's interesting at all. Bro. Why? No, you. But you, you don't know it till you, you tried it. it. Euphoria. You got to experience. Bliss. I tell you it's good, bro. Once you you get a, she already know. a mature girl just to do it because you it's a lot of tricks in the book that I didn't know till I started putting it on. They go she go put it on you. You gonna be so confused. Low key, that's like, the reason why like, I like my shit go that way too. Like you, facts. like you. That's the reason why I like my nipples suck because the older chicks. Hold like, on, suck now, hold bro. up. Oh, is that how? Whoa, is that how you learn to get dominated? Whoa, no. what you say? That's dope. That's, I said, dope. that's the reason why I know I like to get my nipples licked. and dominated, lick, lick, and <laughs> suck and sucks. dominated. Um. You like I mean, I was with you. I was, like, have you. Have you ever got your nipples licked? No, before? I just, I just, I, I John, have you ever, you ever John, no, you ever, no, has, no, ever no, 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 I'm no. telling you, an older chick did it to me. And when I say older, like 35, 40 years old. She just started sucking on them. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. You like that? I mean, I had my ears like, like she sucked on my ears and bit them like that. that. Ears, ears are good. I like that. But I don't know about her sucking on my chest. Like, you liked it? You st- yeah. That's that? your point. So Lo has sensitive nipples. Oh, yeah, you got it. Real sensitive Whoa, nipples. What? Well, what? You get real sen- you like sensations that? develop on well, your. Why you say like that? Huh? I'm just learning about you. you. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 She, she, she go. She go. Can I give you? Hit? Nah, just right here. Put your hand. Just get. Imagine me opting in to get my nipples licked before I get my dick sucked. That'd be wild. Be like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's get some foreplay in first. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what is you doing down there? You, you gonna suck it? my shit and leave? No, get the nipples, <laughs> chest. Get them chesticles real quick, and then you can get it. Don't going start right. no. You can't finish. <laughs> That is the worst, actually. I hate getting head and then having head withdrawn midway. Oh like, yeah, this is the worst imaginable experience. When does that happen to you? All the time, bro. Yeah, yeah happen, we literally have to argue and never talking in after that. Yeah, like why, I hate why that. Why I just stop, just... stop unexpectedly. Like yeah. right when you know I'm getting good, like I'm just giving her the sign that she's doing really great, and she stopped and asked me if it's good. Yeah, it's good. That's why I was doing all that extra shit. Exactly. <laughs> she said, "Is it good?" Yeah, that's why I was doing all that. Facts. Yeah, man. True. But yeah, try that, man. I'm trying, you try one, and it's like I, I like I like my young, I, like, I can't. I gotta watch what say I it, say. Man. Go ahead. I like I like oh, girls oh, my age. What were you about to say? What you about to say? Huh? I like girls my age, okay. and I like older girls, and I'm be careful what I say around y'all. Ugh. Say what around us, nigga? Huh? Hey. No, because I almost what? said I like younger girls, but I didn't mean. I mean, girls oh, my age. No, no, that's that's. Wait, how old are you? Huh? I'm only twenty one. So it can only be two or three more years younger, John. No, I'm saying my age. I'm not, you say younger. I like older women. I'm saying not, if they're not older, they. <laughs> I don't know, but you say younger. You don't have a lot of no, space I mean to work age. with, John. I mean, so, so my you age. You ain't got, no. You ain't got that many If a nigga your age, you just say, I just like girls my age. That's don't, what I meant. That's I what I meant. Don't yeah. say younger because yeah. younger is like. No, because I said younger because we were just talking about older. Yeah, so I, I just, if you're not oh, older, okay. younger. But that's why I stopped. Yeah, you get it now. You catch my drift. He's had a long day. He's, He's a long, had a long day, but I'm running off no sleep. There's a lot of things you yeah. are, you doing, John. It's a bit a little sus. So uh, just hold tight, bro. Because you how you how do you get the butter out your nuts? So what'd you say earlier? What'd you say? I don't know. That's him who said he he sucks on a nut to no, get no, the, no. You he sucked, he sucked what he said he sucks. He was talking about how much he sucked on nuts. Yeah, let's go I'm back. Allergic, to allergic, to, allergic to nuts. You talking about how you suck the but chocolate about off? The cream. Nuts, he said yeah. something about the cream you get out the nut. Uh, <laughs> oh, we talking about peanut butter. We talking about like you just work nuts and then you get the cream you out. You the like cream the out. you like the the creaminess out I of the nut. I actually do like. I actually no cap. The way it just sits on my tongue. 
Go let that slide. Go let that slide. Hey, you got a girlfriend, bro. So if, if you if you if you are experimenting, she has a right to know. Who says you don't? Okay. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Okay. That's all we needed. All right. Okay. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. That's your side right there. It's okay, man. You got that That's whole you, side, bro. We just want. We just so think you're gonna like be closer to him, even though he, he called fifteen year olds attractive. Choose your evil. I'm 24. So. <laughs> <laughs> he man, says, <laughs> "Whoa." <laughs> no, I, gotta That's go. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. So, anybody, anybody like low master poetry? Did you plan that? You, John, are you master poetry? John. I'm just joking, man. John. Jokes, man. Troll God checking John in, man. Said. Uh, no, John, we can't. Yeah. I can't do that. Right you know now. something I was curious about? Why do people look at their food before they eat it? Why don't you just pick your food up and eat it? Why you got to look at it? Because you got to see how to pick it up first. I thought something was moving. It was just your hair. Yeah, my hair is all, yeah. all over the place. You feel me? Don't mind me. Oh, oh, you didn't go. You didn't have Thanksgiving. No, yeah, you can even talk about Thanksgiving with y'all, bro. Yeah, I didn't do nothing either. That's tough, bro. That's tough. Bro. I had a pretty solid Thanksgiving. Did you ask John? Hmm. Did you ask? No, I don't remember asking. It's a topical thing, though, you know. But I, we didn't ask. Did you I, ask? I didn't ask. <laughs> do you, you want to know? Not really, because I didn't have anything. So Stuffing I was, like, was good. Gravy. Don't, no, don't, don't, don't care. Stuff what? What are you what? talking about? Food. You did, want you see, did you see Peter's tweet? No, what did he say? <laughs> well, I had to find it. Hold on. Who? Say stuff. I'm going to find Peter's tweet. Peter? Like Peter. The, like Peter. the animal thing? Oh, like Peter. The organization that shouldn't exist. No, no, no. Peter. The Yeah, the animal organization. They probably gonna be talking about some turkey, and I really don't care. Oh, no. you talking about a thing where um, what's her name posted her hugging the turkey, and then like two days later her post is like I'm so thankful, and her cooking a turkey, turkey. Huh? Wait, wait, I, I'll find it, bro. God damn. Okay. Um, <coughs> yo, <coughs> we got to talk about this um Dave Chappelle thing, okay, or is that too on. deep of a thing before you um? I don't. What happened with Dave Chappelle? Nick Netflix. Uh, what happened yeah, with that? Speak on it if you wanna. They um they took Dave Chappelle they, they took the Chappelle show off of Netflix which it was only on there for a couple of um yeah I saw it on Netflix days. and I celebrated and uh, cause I was like oh my god I get a chance to watch the Chappelle show you know what's my girl never watched the Chappelle show oh my god you had to break no up nor nor Boondocks all right I'm gonna go behind the camera now are you for real I mean so serious it's been real see y'all boys she's black if you, need, you need me to return let me know <laughs> if you need to make a return let me know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Actually, you know, John. If you need me, say it's a good decision. Yeah, you yeah, you need me, come back, man. Nah, Just leave it there. Good, you know what I'm saying? You don't want me to. Go. Okay. Because we got the sponsor in this episode, and I'll, <laughs> I'll be yeah. In fact, uh, is that your uh, that's your root beer from last episode? Say what? That's your root beer from last episode, right there. Is it? Is it there? <laughs> is, that, is that what it is right there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I get it. No, I get it. You get it real quick. You right there. You were saving it. Yeah. Ah, the Ruby yeah, from last yeah. episode. You know what I'm saying? Kobe. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Step on Mayberry. Oh, shit. I had a Kobe from deep. Um, I had a Kobe from deep in my room yesterday. Just yeah. let you know, guys, he missed. There's no garbage he missed, can. He missed. He, actually, missed. he missed. You are a hater, bro. He missed, bro. You need to stop hating so he much, missed. bro. That shit has gotten to your heart, man. It's been infecting your soul, man. Hey, let's talk about how your girl has not watched Boondocks and Chappelle's show. Are we going to talk about. The more serious topic at hand <clears throat> that they took it off because Chappelle was demanding to get paid from it, and they said no. Yeah, that's isn't that crazy? Very crazy. Uh, and and part of me thinks that Netflix did it because like they work with Chappelle, like they did like a sixty was it sixty million for three specials or something like that, something like that. Um, and so like, and Netflix is quadrupling down on comedy. Um, and they have like a million different comedy shows and thousands of specials. So it's like. I get why they would want to make comedians feel like their platform is the best for what they want and, to do. And a bunch of sitcoms as well. Wait, what? <clears throat> They're adding a bunch of like comedy based sitcoms. Oh, from, um, early, yeah, yeah. I've actually noticed 90s, that. Early 2000s. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's understandable. I, it's not really like a. I don't think they were doing like a let's, let's be nice move because I don't think nice exists in business. I just think it was a good business move for them to, to take it off. You know what's so crazy? I'm not saying this is what Chappelle. Did it, but I think I think it's very interesting looking back at what. Are hey, you gonna mute your phone? Um, you gonna mute it? I'm gonna do it. Mute that real quick. Is that an Android? Yeah, my uh, iPhone downstairs charging. Oh, I know it's charged. You know what? I think you're lying. 
I think you're lying, bro. Why? Because when I was trying to FaceTime you earlier today, FaceTime wasn't an option. Oh. So that means that you sold your iPhone. Oh. No, I literally just posted my iPhone earlier today on Twitter, so that can't be. Is oh. that right? Yep. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll double check to verify that because that's two hours ago, bro. You don't have an iPhone. Mm. Bro, shit. Well, don't tell me he's holding the pod back. He, he dead ass keeps holding the podcast back, nah, man. I, just, well, I couldn't have gone. I was downstairs with my girl. We were having sex, so that didn't happen. Hey, you just. Say it again? You were doing, what were you doing? <laughs> what did you say? You, well, anyway, um, yeah, what were you, so what were you doing on there? Really, what yeah. you should have been doing is showing her the boondocks. I'm, I'm, I'm been try, but I was trying to show the Chappelle show. We actually watched two, two or three episodes, and mm-hmm. we took it down. Which, th- which is wild because I think that's the whole reason why Dave, what Dave was talking about, how you know you have these massive companies, and they won't, they'll give you all the money in the world, but they will not give you ownership. And so here we are now, where Chappelle was. Um, I mean, let's just call it what it is. I think right now, Chappelle, Dave Chappelle, regardless of race, age. Demographic is easily one of the hottest comedians right now, and they're trying to, which I understand why Netflix would want to do this. They're trying to maximize their earning potential off of his name and bringing bringing back one of the most cultural relevant TV shows in the past twenty years, bringing that to the forefront on their um, platform where you can very how you know how hard it is to find Chappelle episodes, Dave Chappelle episodes. From start to finish, it's extremely difficult to find that shit. Really? Because I yeah. watched it all like three, four years ago again. When? Don't remember, but I watched all of them. Like I binged it in like a week. <clears throat> well, it might have. It might. They might have it like on. A, if you have cable, they probably got it on. Um, mm-hmm. It was on a website. Oh well, they get you allegedly. know they they, they do find tracking it on the internet. Yeah, allegedly. Well, I guess allegedly, I guess allegedly. allegedly. allegly. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I was talking about doing it legally, but yeah, yeah, sure. Um, uh, allegedly, allegedly. But anyway, it is it is difficult still. Even if you're doing it in um, alternative ways, it's still uh, very difficult to find um, all those episodes from start to finish. And it's it's very interesting to me how, I mean, Chappelle was was right in the sense of, yo, I'm not going to. He understood his value basically, and then didn't succumb to the pressure of, yo, just sign this and you get a whole bunch of money because he understood the value of that show. He understood that I can't just keep. Signing away ownership just because a dollar amounts in front of me right now, because how much is this actually worth? And 20 plus years later, or well, 20 or well, 15, 20 years later, it's being rebranded in the streaming network and it's even running even more money. And the fucked up part about it is he can't, he, there's, li- there's literally no legal way for him to get paid for that, even though we all know, regardless of Viacom's influence at that time with all the shows that they had, we all know who, who really and truly. Should be getting paid from that And it's not just It shouldn't solely be Viacom And I think that's just Fucked up True, True. Very fucked up Well spoken <coughs> Well spoken Yep Agreed Great So um Yeah but my girl has not seen it either. Yeah you need to stop Fucking so much and I don't think your girl Would appreciate you okay. Putting your lips on another girl What What's the name on your Coke bottle It says Michelle you put your Oh no you're Michelle? cheating You're cheating Okay You're one. cheating <laughs> He's Put cheating. Lips on Michelle. He's cheating. Wow. He's cheating, bro. Yeah, That's a He's low cheating. blow, right oh, but there. Le- luckily though, um, Boondocks is on Hulu. Uh, I ch- yo, Boondocks was is on Prime Video. Then when you click it, it's unavailable. And then I'm like, then why is it? Why can I search for it? Then why is it here if I can't fucking click it? But it, I, isn't it censored on Hulu? It's not the explicit version. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to watch censored Boondocks. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? I want to see the Booty Warrior full. Yeah, them episodes are wild as shit. The messed up part about it is, is because she missed that that stage that stage of um of like black culture and black history. Cause that's what it is. That's really just black history. That's what that is. Yeah, the Booty Warriors, black history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So since she missed Gangs the part, delicious. I like shit. That's black, black history right there. I like that's black history. Yeah, yeah. We can do this the easy way, the hard way. The choice is yours. What's it gonna be, Tom? <laughs> Low. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I swear. What's it gonna be? Hey, 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 either way, the hard way. What's it yours? What's it gonna be, Low? Hey, John, you're getting worse. Rip you off that Jordan hoodie, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up with you, Low. Fucking Tom, bro, that was one of the best episodes Don't in TV that history, soap, Low. Ever, ever. That is one of the best episodes. The messed up part of it is because she missed it. She's not gonna necessarily understand all of the um, 
references because the booty warrior is an actual man. It's a man. That's a real life man. I, oh, that was the, the documentary dude, right? Bro, yeah. He kept talking about how much he loves ass. He said, I like I like it more than water. I like it more than water itself. <laughs> booty is more important than water in here. <laughs> a man's butt. <laughs> That's what he said in the interview. It was the scary thing. I was like, man, like going to prison is scary, but them niggas got life. It's Yo, so you know, not, you're the only butt they're gonna see. And forever, when it's bro. Wild. That's the craziest thing ever. Don't do nothing legal, little bros, because then they're going to take your butt. <laughs> Yo, okay. John is like really going over the board right now. Yo, there's this um, show on uh, on Netflix called 60 Days In. You got to watch it, bro. Oh, What's yes. it about? Yes. It you got to watch it. You, you got TV? It's like regular huh? people going to jail, right? And, yes. And Nick, Nick, <laughs> dude, dude works at Starbucks. Don't know why you signed up for this. Go to jail. Get his shit beat. <laughs> Wait, they First actually day, get fucked up. Get this shit beat seven days in a row. They get they actually get fucked up. But they they so, are inmate. They get fucked up and raped for two. They got a, no, no, I don't know about rape, oh, but okay. they do get it. Hey, 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 editor, hey, cut, cut, bleep that out twice. Bleep yeah. it out twice. Bleep that out. I don't know. Yeah. So what what happens to them, bro? They just in jail. Like it's like they, they get, get fucked up though. They get. I mean fighting. They get yeah. Punched. I mean security <laughs> guards definitely fighting there. Yeah. Security yeah. guards not with them the whole time. So it's like they go in there and there's cameras watching them. But they sign a waiver, like you're gonna be you're gonna be an inmate for that however long you're in there, sixty days. And if somebody try you, I mean you gotta hold your own. He didn't hold his own. He got beat six days straight. <laughs> bet he was hungry. I bet he didn't eat either. They didn't show that part, but I know he got beat six days straight. <laughs> like you got you got life in prison. You get beat your first six days. Like it's gonna be a hard time. Oh, hard time, bro. Hard time. You, you can't go outside, tell people life in prison because they're not gonna know how to like there's no point. There's oh, no point. Self control. There's no, no point. I'm in here for the rest of my There's life. No life. gonna beat the fuck out of everyone that's new. You got three life sentences in 50 years. No, no point. <laughs> Look at me wrong. I'm killing you. The best. The best season <laughs> is season five. Season five. I may check that out. But there's also some seasons where they, they, there's, there's a few of them. I think there's two or three of them that are in um Ful- Fulton County. Same mm-hmm. word. Yeah. Oh, this happens in Georgia. Yeah, they happen in Georgia, Texas, New Mexico, where they just go around camera crew, the sheriff. Who run, who's over the um, jail Wants to infiltrate And try to get some information About the prisoners And the DOs And how exactly everything Organized in their jail facility Because they want to try to Minimize as much crime As it can possibly happen Before they transfer them To the prison Yeah Isn't that it's crazy? There's a really... dude in there Called Too Tall It's like you, he's, He was in the Fulton County one Yeah I think he's a blood, I'm not sure I don't know It's one of them But he's too tall And one of the people Was there watching right So he was like Standing there And it was like when you go to jail, just mind your business. Don't worry about it. Dude was talking crazy. Yeah. Too tall and like seven other dudes just beating on you. I'm like, man. Just man. Like, just but this but they set the um on season five, they they do this one thing in New in uh I think it's New Mexico or Nevada, one or two. And it's like the the jail cell is just segregated. And it's segregated by race. And they just sit there and they call them the white people are called Woods because it stands for whites only. One day soon, huh? Whites only. One day soon. One day soon. What will happen? Whites only. Oh, one day. Yeah, one it's day. Be soon. whites only. One day. And they call them Woods. Woods. What do they call the black post? Ken folk. <laughs> yeah. And then they call is that, is that an acronym? No, no, no. That's what they Kenfolk. say for real. And and the outside too. And your Ken folk over there, they said in the outside. And that's then it. Hispanics are um, Chicanos. Chicanos. Just really crazy, right? Anyway, she kind of knows. They bring some day. One of the dudes that come in there, he's he was a um he's an ex prisoner. He spent f- Jesus Christ. They can't hear us. So just keep going. Okay. They spent um they spent fifteen years. He spent fifteen years in prison, and he went back. He went. He spent fifteen years in prison. Got out of prison. Changed his life. Now he's a um he's a pastor. You know he Great. he preaches the word of God. But he said, I need to get back in touch with these youngins. I need to really save them. <laughs> so then he goes into jail attempting to save them. And then his tendencies of his past, like, he starts to come out. So he comes in there, like, literally the first day. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, man, you a Chicano. All right, we, you with the Chicanos. And he starts saying a couple of things. They're like, oh, okay, you legit. So they grab his bed and they make his sheet for him. And he's like, yeah, yeah. So you know, I just did time, yada, yada, That's yada. Respect, right? Yeah, off rip, off. He already has yeah. respect because they already see the tattoos he has and all that stuff. Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah. So we just talking. <clears throat> so day one, everybody knows who he is and they got his respect. Day two, he's the head of the Chicanos or second in charge. Oh my god. So he's calling shots and he's the enforcer. 
Oh, snap. So then there was one dude who came in there who was mixed. So he didn't know what to, he was a young dude. He was like, man, I don't really do all this race stuff, man. I don't really do all that, man. I'm just going to be what I'm going to be with. Because he was mixed with black and Hispanic, but he was raised by white people. Wrong choice. Choose so, the strong side. So he, was, so he was trying to bounce around the whole thing, right? And so then he just snapped. He was like, yo, man, you need to pick a side, bro. You need to pick one. Cause we don't do that around here. It's all the politics. He's like, man, I don't do that, man. Just there's a white dude telling him, like, man, bro, just just shut the fuck up. He's they, his name is Abner, the um, Hispanic dude. He's like, what? Listen to me. You don't, you don't talk to me like that. Snatched him, threw him up against the wall, perfectly to where the camera can't catch him, and then smacked the shit out of him. Damn. Right hand or left hand? Right hand. Just smack the shit out of him. Ooh. And then he said, so which one are you? He's like, man, I'm a kinfolk. And he said, all right, bet. You a kinfolk? Smacked him again. And then he said, no, he ain't smacked. He said, hey, yo, he a kinfolk. Green light him right now. And they just start wailing on this nigga. I was like, why would, why would y'all have him in the room with y'all? And y'all just start beating his ass. And then he just started crying in the um, confession room. Because he was like, man... I didn't really want to do that to him, man. And I was like, nigga, what? What is going on? He was forced on? to, of I course. I was forced to, man. I had no choice. And then at the end, he was like, man, I really just lost myself in there, man. I was like, oh, my God. Y'all niggas is sick, bro. Y'all are sick. Well, he would love it, actually. Yeah, I bet he And then will. it was a snitch who just, who um, who basically messed up everything. Yeah, well, he would definitely love that right there. You trying to go to jail for 60 days? Just for an experiment? Hell no. I, I used to watch that show. You fuck with it, right? It's a good show. No, wait, wait. What, what season did you stop at? Like one, the first one. Oh, you see, it's, it's season five is the best one. Yeah, my friend hit me up. We were just talking about <laughs> you it. You watched it a lot. We, you know, me and my girls skipped through the whole um. Season. Well, he, I mean, um, Lo, instead tell of about watching, how they just told us the Chappelle show. I literally just uploaded yesterday on my second channel, and two days before that. Oh, I did you really? On NBA channel, yeah. Oh shit, nice. So I don't know this niggas. Niggas talking right now, bro. It's crazy. Wallet. Um, what would you about to ask me? No, I was telling oh. him how my friend emailed us. We was talking about before you walked in that he needs somebody to go in and for all they're looking for a little guy, bearded, fair skin. I know a guy. You know a guy? Yep. I'm Who? not little at all. So I want to say a little guy. Who Pretty little guy. Beard? I know a little guy. Yeah, you're not little. He's not a little guy. What? Talking about lead, right? He's like an average size male. Well, he's pretty little. Well, he's like what five four? Oh my god. <laughs> How old, how tall is Willie? I tell you, he's like five ten, five eleven. No, he's not. Yeah, he's about five ten. Yeah, I. Right. Um, but yeah, man, y'all should definitely watch it. Sixty days in. Oh, it is another season where this dude trying to sleep on a mat, and then a whole bunch of um his cell- cellmates just start trying him and calling him gay, and they start getting naked next to him. Huh? Yeah, no cap, no cap. I, I know what you're talking about. Oh, you know. Somebody okay. Thing yeah, he hopped in. Somebody what? Hopped in. Yeah. You said what? <laughs> said, you said you said you know. The episode. What, what? What season was that? Oh yeah. I have no idea. Whoa. You don't know? You don't know what season it was? No. Um. Alrighty. <laughs> no, I'm saying this. On this, to the next topic. Yeah, it's kind of a good show, bro. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's a great show. You should watch it. Um. I'm thinking about. Oh, there's nothing here. I'm thinking about. Um. There's enough support right there? That's it. There should be enough. <laughs> the, 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 should be enough the half of a pillow is enough support? No, that ass it is, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. No cap. It absolutely is. What were you saying? Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember what I was saying. Man, I'm you not... You you're thinking about... Oh, getting into mixed martial arts. John, do you know how to fight? You've said this yeah. multiple times before. What, what, how, what do you fight usually? How you doing? Um, like, really just slap. Huh? Slap boxing. Okay. No, so not he doesn't slap know how to boxing, fight. Slap. Oh, just slap. He's the East Atlanta um, martial arts. <laughs> what? Hood jitsu. So you just slapping niggas? No, you just fight the hood fighter. Hood jitsu. You know you have like taekwondo, okay. so I he's karate. Yeah, it's called Person. hood jitsu. Okay, so what thanks, you thanks for that. Man. Yeah, Wear the saying? slat hair. Thy runny nose, wipe thy slat hair. That's what my sister say. Say I'm a green belt. Green belt Does exactly. green belt yeah. exist? Yeah you definitely green Yeah it is green belt Is, is your sensei like a, a trap star of any, any kid? Hmm? Like a drug dealer? Does he rap? Hmm? Does he rap? Mm-hmm. Yeah a couple mixtape out He didn't pop off yet That's why he was a sensei now <laughs> Yeah <laughs> So what were you saying again? <laughs> oh man I am not excited for tomorrow We gotta do an A&P day 
And I do not want to do the video. He's making this so depressing for everybody in this house. Huh? I can't help but think about it. I know, but just imagine just waking up and then going out, eating, doing a little laundry, just for this nigga to be like, hey, at 3.30. Hey, yo, tomorrow A&P is coming, just in case you didn't know. Oh, y'all, yeah. y'all fighting tomorrow? Uh, we're doing physical videos for sure. So why are you talking about Miss Martial Arts? You got beef with somebody? Uh, yeah, why do you... You just want exercise, that's all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like... Um, yeah, I don't have no stamina. I feel like everyone overlooks stamina when it comes to like the whole health department. It's okay. everything. Cardio and stamina. Stamina would damage you. You gotta remember yeah, that. No, <laughs> stamina may be better than strength sometimes. No cap. Actually, yeah, I think I think you it can is. have plenty think, of strength. I think you if you just get like a baseline, like an average, like a bit maybe above average strength, but like a lot of stamina, bro, I think that's way more important. Run circles around people because you can be strong, but you're gonna get tired. And when you get tired, you get weaker. Mm. Your stamina that is a fact. You know what I'm saying? saying? That's a fact. That's a Fendi fat. <laughs> what do you say? He said just shoot people. Okay. It's a simple solution. You don't need any of that. Stamina, nothing. Just nothing. Unless he had more stamina and pulled the trigger faster. <laughs> how many how many bullets do you think you had to shoot before stamina plays a role on huh? your finger being able to, t- to I mean like say say you don't have stamina, you're slow. Yeah. And I have stamina on fast. Uh huh. No, goner. It's more <laughs> likely you can probably gonna miss me, but okay, huh? cool. Yeah. You're probably gonna miss me because you didn't aim. But if I don't, if I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, but, when you watch Django, that's yeah. how you be shooting people. <laughs> yeah, they're like, niggas <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> and don't hit nobody else but they target, even though there's like three people right next to the nigga. They don't have to, they don't have to aim, they just fucking yeah, flick. Just just, flick. That's a real flick shot because P- PC shooters think they know how to flick. Now, the real flick is how they do it in Django. They so just be the shooting. Draw people. between you and Low. Huh? A, I've, never, I've never actually, um, Let's, let's you never shot a gun before? I've never shot a gun, but like paintball gun and stuff like that, and BB guns, but I've never shot like an actual oh, gun. No. Now I've shot plenty of guns <laughs> back in my day. No. no uh, but I've been to the shooting range. I've been to the shooting range. Like, like, you just like, let me just kill that real quick, actually. Uh, it's actually not a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I've been to the range like four or five times now. Yeah, no, I've never, I've never. Um, it's pulled. cool, but it's not like. I need to be shooting something like the tar- like the Some, targets. Whoa. Some living? The, like the targets. <laughs> like it needs to be like a like like a like a what do you call it? What do you call it, bro? Oh like, no, you tell me. Oh, no. Not a not a range. I'm not shooting fucking paper, bro. You, I need to shoot like a dummy, and there needs to be like a route where like, all right, what's your best time? Like a minute, and then you run this route, boom, boom. Like that would be kind of cool, but the, the idea like a, just, almost like a drill, like a shooting yeah, drill, yeah, a yeah. combat course. Sure, dude, if that's what you want to call it, yeah, yeah, yeah. A combat course actually, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that will be fun. It, it'll me. be fun if they shoot back too, right? That will be frightening, <laughs> <laughs> unless they're shooting love like a Care Bear <laughs> just. Uh, just, 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 just be just popping up the, attacking people with love. That's really how we should. Uh, that's how we should start dealing with more problems in this world. You I just shoot you with a bullet. You shoot back with love. Yeah, see a lot like, of shit not like, gonna get that. Ain't gonna last too long. <laughs> nah, all y'all lovers go die. Yeah, oh, that, ain't gonna, <laughs> that ain't gonna last too long, bro. But it was, that's such an innocent show that teaches kids that like no matter what you're dealing with, if you just puff your chest out and shoot fucking hearts out that bitch, you'll be just fine, yep, man. In a coffin somewhere. <laughs> Mom was crying. <laughs> so Excuse be, me, sir. You told me to just touch fine. my chest and give you love. You'll be just fine in a coffin somewhere. Yo, <laughs> funeral business going sky high. Teach kids that. Yo, I had this thought the other day, and I know it's not real, but I had it. You know what I'm saying? And it was, who's incentivized to have everybody sit indoors in quarantine? Who's the biggest winners? Wait, say that one time. Who's incentivized? When people sit at home all day in quarantine, toilet like, paper companies. What if they were perpetuating this whole pandemic the whole time to up their profits? Because no, anytime, what? No, that's making sense. But toilet paper people don't have that much pull. Not only that, toilet paper. Is, <laughs> like, toilet paper. If Charmin has that much control over the world. They have control. No, toilet paper gets all used. The bears are charming though. Toilet they have paper. Bear gets, population. Toilet paper gets used anywhere. You may seem like just because no, I'm at home is when I'm taking a shit. The like, second they be, think that there's gonna be some kind of lock, anytime there's fear, what people go for? Bread, mm-hmm. milk. No, no, no. I wish because they don't. Actually, no. no um, they absolutely go for just, bread and milk. Paper. Bread and milk, grocery wise, but I don't know why. But niggas just freak out and be like. I gotta get as many bounty products as possible, bro. Because <laughs> I feel like I have to. stacking up on Charmin today. That's what's gonna save me. From the point where like they'll even stack up on one ply. Like you're not gonna use the one ply. But no, you gotta think about it. If your I, stomach hurts and you don't have no toilet paper and you don't wipe, oh man, a house full of non-wipers. 
I'd rather have no bread than not than living with some non wipers. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think you ever thought about it like that. The smell of you just, I just gotta pull it up, just gotta deal with it. Like, and what? then when you walk, it's just like, that's that. just peak. I would rather do that than wipe my ass with one ply tissue. Like, I swear, like that right there. One ply is the worst. One ply is so bad. And, and the fact that, like, at this point, if I walk into a public bathroom and it's anything more than one ply, I'm, I'm leaving a tip. Because cause they, they're going above and beyond that restaurant is. And they deserve money for it. Because it's like everywhere you go is just one ply. I was at someone's house the other day. There's no way. They had one ply. I was like, at the, I, at the if I, see, I was like, if I see a one ply at someone's house, <laughs> that's a problem, bro. You might as well be wiping your ass with a dryer sheet at that point, bro. I swear, bro. Or your hand. You just, that's what, it's yeah, going to break regardless. Happen. It's going to break regardless. You have to, like, with well, one ply, you have to, no cap. Have like seven layers. They gotta just, just fold it back. You know how long you gotta another. make the thing. You gotta use a quarter roll. And just fold it. A quarter roll per wipe. Facts, <laughs> yo. Because I swear, bro. If you miss up, if you mess up on just one or two less layers, and it's that thin, oh. nigga, you're already playing with your hands. Going yeah, too you never close. know, like the wipe. Like you never know until you wipe it. What kind of yeah, situation exactly. you got down there? It could be facts. a could That's be a facts. soft one. Could be a hard one. You never know. Never know. Yo, I, I mean, th- and I mean, you don't even know how much mess is down there. You don't know. Like, it's, it's, it be it's, deceiving sometimes. You have, sometimes. Idea you, have, you have an idea, but like, if you ever wipe me, you was like, get whoa. Surprised, like, yeah, I you might. Like, I didn't know it was all <laughs> that down there. Lucky I went thick. I didn't hear the drop, but it's still there. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> what did he say? I didn't hear the drop, but I know it's still there. There's no way I'm taking shit that's stuck, suspended in your ass cheeks. Because and when that shit happened, I'm I'm wiggling it until it gets loose. You know what I'm saying? There's my, no way I'm stopping me yeah. through and trying hey, to just catch yeah, that sometimes, shit sometimes you have to shake your ass again. Yeah, you got Whoa. to shake. You got you to shake your ass. Loose. Sometimes, Nigga, bro. If, Yo, you ever, if I don't hear it plop, I got it. That shit got to get stuck sometimes in Sometimes it'd be like my out. dribbling. It'd be on the string. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm shaking. I'm juking. and ju- that, that, It got to fall first, You're bro. You were there juking? I'm, I'm not. You ever I'm take not, a like, shit sometimes and it's like... <laughs> The, like the, the the it's so viscous, like it's so thick, ooh, viscous, like it's so I viscous use, that like ooh. you just know it's gonna be like this is this is a messy one. <laughs> I like that word. I'm gonna be here for an extra few minutes. Viscous. <laughs> yeah. What's viscous what's even mean? worse is the other ones, the other way where it's so like messy? liquid. It's so liquid and messy. It's oh, like man. I'm oh. used to those ones now. The trombones. <laughs> I hate trombones. <laughs> No, but that's because like when you eat, when you have a carnivore diet, you don't have like solid shits no more. Man, you just be have coming like coming out like they're like they're like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah, you, you be your, your look, no cap. Your ass will be beatboxing, hey. but it be clapping it and everything, be, yo, man. Your ass will be beatboxing and loose shit just flying. Well, I be thinking out, my ass a city girl when that shit happens. Like God damn. <laughs> But that should be the worst. Yeah, I've been I've been getting real thankful recently just for small shit. Like I had food poisoning a few weeks ago, right? And I was able to wipe my ass like at least thirty times a day just like to deal pieces. with it. And, and I was just stopping and think to myself, like, what happened a thousand years ago when you had food poisoning? You had to have just found a lake and then just chill by it all Girl, day because you would need about to that. just like that's the only way, bro. Because what are you can do. You'd have to cut down entire trees, get all the leaves, just so you would have enough to wipe. Because, bro, you take shits every 12 minutes, man. But think about, like, I was thinking about the timeline, like, back then, like, what did caveman do to cave woman? So let's say a cave woman got mad at a caveman. What did he do to her? Right. John, this, we can't, we, we can't, we can't get into this. this <laughs> yeah. no, like, what, had we had 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 what happened? He communicated. No, uh, we can't. You know what I'm saying? Or if you just <laughs> they communicated, I think so, I don't think Fred Flintstone would do nothing like that. <laughs> or <laughs> they, they, made, they made an actual cartoon out of that, knowing that none of that happened. Well, Them niggas the most civilized cavemen, cavemen I, ever, oh, ever. Like think about when it's winter. <laughs> think about when it's winter, or what do you call it? Fall when all the trees fall off the all the leaves fall off the trees. Yeah. Then what you wiping with? Oh my god! What do you wipe with? It's frozen. What did the people wipe with? In it's cold. already on the ground. No, no, no. But the leaves dead, disappeared. Though. They, um, what's the word? They decomposes. They de- yeah, they disappear, they decomposes. Bro. Decompose. They disappear, like, like you said. They decompose, bro. You just rake them up and you just keep them, and you like just. But they die. Keep them. They're not fresh. No, you know, it's crazy. You just keep them moist, all to the side. Huh? 
You get more spikes. You know you get leaves and you get them and crunch them? Yeah, that's my favorite so thing. So you get a batch of dry leaves and wipe your ass and it crunches. No, oh. I, said, I know I said, I know I said. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know them leaves? Oh. That'd be, oh. be wild to sell. Yeah. No, but that's said, the worst. I said you keep them moist though. With what? Water. It's winter. And it's, and somebody, Wait, somebody it never like, rains in the winter? But if, if you if it's cold outside, you put your leaves in water, it'll be frozen. No, you just keep them next, nice, nice and nice, toasty right next by, to them. By the heater? By what? No, by, by the heater? The fire, campfire? nigga. You keep the fire going all day? Yeah, you can. Dang, you had to live in a forest, low, because you're asking for a lot, my hey, guy. You know, you must know the BC. You got, you got a friend or something like that? Nah, them niggas, them other niggas can't survive. That's why they had to use their hand to wipe their ass with, bro. Think about, <laughs> low, think about if you had to, to be a man, you had to kill a mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> Which is wild, huh? That think was a standard. You had to kill. If you had like, to be a man, true, if you're a true man, you got to bring home food, right? You got to bring home. Say they sent yeah. you out to kill a mammoth. I just ten year old agent to be a man, you must kill mammoth. Which is wild because they were doing that shit young, like yeah. You is that how thir- they went you extinct? Had to, you had to be thir- imagine you being thirteen, especially in Africa. You had to kill a lion or a t- some type of king, wild cat. Why but would- imagine you being at thirteen, nigga. You're mad young, and your expectations are to fucking kill a mammoth. And 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 uh, and be attractive to John's expectations at thirteen years Yo, old. Okay, um, say it again. Come again. Hey, chill out, bro. <laughs> chill out. Yo, John. John. Wiley. Relax, adults, bro. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Yo, um, John will fit right in because yeah. thirteen, you're an adult. <laughs> no, but there are some. There are some cultures where people mature faster, though. Nah, man, it's, I'm not killing a lion at 13. Yeah, me right now, the fact that we could just chill in school with very little responsibilities, and the only time you get like a decent amount of responsibilities is when you're out of college, right? Yeah. Can you imagine, like, if let's say your dad died, your mom's taking care of y'all, you live in a third world country, like by 10, bro, you're gonna have to be doing routes getting water for your family type shit. You gotta have to mature a lot faster. True. You feel me? <laughs> very, very true. I feel bad for those kids because. Look, when part of the privilege about living in a first world country is that you don't have to deal with all of life's problems for like an extended period of time, and if you're introduced to those problems off rip, then it's like you don't really even have a childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes there was there was days where my my biggest problem was I couldn't beat level fifty on Super Smash Bros Melee, and I I swear I swear to you I would pray like like please please I'm, I'll do prayers like I just want to beat level 50 mm. the master hand he's so good he just keeps beating me I couldn't beat him with my Pikachu it was unbelievable and that was my biggest problem at the time then yeah, now to think true. like my biggest problems I have now it's crazy it's really crazy Remember, I couldn't Remember. beat Kid Boo I was so mad and that shit used to piss me the play, fuck I'll be, off I'll be game with they, give him like, they give him like nine health bars and give me like two health bars I was game is spanking this? them and he just started was this, was this was this Budokai Tenkaichi they are. I, I don't remember. It may have been Budokai. Budokai Was it? Was it the 3D one? Huh? huh? No, no, not no. This not is play, this PlayStation okay. Two. Well, no, this is like they they used to have three Ds in, in PS Two days. I don't remember which which. I don't it may have been a 2D one. or Budokai Two no, or you, something. Like 2D? Not Two D Dragon Ball Z. But but Dragon it, Ball Z. I don't know which one was, but like that right there was by far the hardest the hardest boss I've probably ever faced in my or, life. Or uh, what's the uh, what's the cat the cat name? Garfield. Who um, um Beers? Beers, yeah, he was hard too. Oh, he oh, made, I've never, I, I've never faced. I've never, I stopped playing him after him. a while. He had a hole in my wall. But growing up, trying to beat, <laughs> try to beat Kid Boo, bro, so hard. His arms extend like that was my favorite character. For bro. for no reason, it was hard. I swear. What was the hardest game you ever played? Mine, um, no cap, that might actually that might be, be up there. I'm not, I'm not even no. That, I mean, no, no, no joke. That shit was up there. Dragon Ball Z, because he's it, like they'll have like seven health bars and they'll give you two, and it's like, how are you supposed to beat it? I'm pushing every control. I'm thumping the X, jamming the Y or the triangle. <laughs> I'm just I'm, spamming the verbs. I'm, I'm punching it. I'm thinking I'm whooping his butt, but it's going down slowly. He just hit it, just, just having his way with me, just just abusing me. Yeah, Buddha. Yeah, I think Dragon Ball Z was the first fighting game where that mechanic was introduced. Where to like make sure you understood the difference in like, like difficulty or make the up the difficulty or make sure you understood the difference in um, in power gap between the two characters. Yeah, like they would give the boss more health bar exactly and make your punches weaker. Weaker. Okay, you I had know. to really play the game. Like you couldn't just spam buttons. No, Isn't that combo. Dope, and, they used, and they used to just. Oh, I'm not saying it's not dope. But I'm just saying. Yeah, that's kind of dope. And the nigga would have all the blocks, all the counters. I'm talking about. I'm not hitting you. this dude. This waiting dude for you, dodging me, laughing, smiling I mean, the whole time. I mean, associates that might be the hardest one. I'm trying to beat. Kid Did you ever Boo. play Star Fox Adventures? I played the Was one that? with. There was. You never played a Star Fox game. No. Star Fox, if, which one is the Adventures one? That's on GameCube? The GameCube one, oh, and no, it was the one with Tricky, the little tiny dinosaur. I didn't play that. I never beat that one. I also never beat. 
Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I never played Zelda, actually. I need oh, to. It's, it's one of those games where, like, you try your ass off to beat a puzzle, and then you finally pass that puzzle, and 20 minutes later, when you have the same puzzle, you forgot how to beat it because you already forgot the last puzzle. You got to do it over again, and you want to jump out the nearest building. That's not like you, though. So is this puzzles? You no, don't, you I'll, don't I'll play with my brother. We both forget him, and he has good memory. You don't fight or nothing, just puzzles? No, you do. You fight all kind of different shit. Um, that, those two games and... Um, yeah, and probably the level 50 in Melee with Master Hand. Bro, I couldn't, we could beat that shit. Then we finally beat it. Yo, I don't know. What, okay, so what's the most, that's right. The hat and the Master Hand, you're right. It, that, was, that, that was, was, that was, that was one of the most fun. satisfying feelings in all the gaming is when you're playing Super Smash and then uh, you finish the game, right? And you're already feeling yourself. You finished the game. And then it goes, boop, boop, boop. Yeah. New foe has appeared. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm getting a new fucking character, Ganondorf. And I go my fucking hardest. This, I don't think there's ever been a more satisfying feeling in all the gaming than new foe has appeared when you're playing Super Smash. There just isn't, bro. There isn't. I've been gaming for a while. There isn't, man. Cause you, it has to happen every once in a while, and it has to be very rewarding. Is is which one was harder, the hand or the um the metal character that you picked? Hand, hand, okay. hand, hand. That's hand. what I thought too. Yo, that podcast people is the one and only legend of winning, aka low, and you know what season it is. Mm, tell holiday us, holiday season. Okay, so you already know what that means. You got to get the gifts out for the Christmas and all the other holidays. And Manscaped, our sponsor for today's episode, has the gift for you. Mm. Their new performance package. Now, how many times have you, you know, been trying to keep it groomed downstairs? I just recently I ain't realized. I trying to sneak in, no cap. Like, you, especially after you work out, I swear it'll be smelling. But luckily, though, Manscaped got you covered. Say less. Now, imagine you going downstairs Christmas morning, go straight down there, and you go see a box. Right on top of it, it says... Your boss will thank you. Mm. You open that bad boy up, and right there you got the Manscaped new performance package. Okay, talk to me. What is that? What is that? Now, check this out now. Uh -huh. First thing, you got the weed whacker. All right. Get all the crevices in there, right? Okay. Whack them weeds. ears and nose. Say so. Well. Now, you be trying to, you probably, you probably figuring out how they do that, right? How? 9,000 RPM, dual motor. <laughs> is there a Hellcat in there? <laughs> Oh, 9,000 RPM dual motor, and it's a rotary dual blade system, and that thing waterproof, so you can do it anywhere, in the shower and all that stuff, bro. So I have two engines underwater. Facts. <laughs> Trimming your nose and your ear. Second, second product, right? Yeah. The lawnmower. All right, talk to me about that. I like to call it the triple B. Body, butt, and balls. balls. It get all of it. Okay, that's the one I need. Now, when you're done with everything- Butt specifically. In my balls. Oh, okay. My balls don't neglect <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. The balls, I ain't gonna lie. No, that'd be nasty if you don't get them. Does it nick them? No, it don't. That's the crazy part. It don't nick you, bro. Third thing. Once you're done with everything, you got to get it all nice, smooth, tone it up, make sure it smell right. You got the crop preserver. Yeah. Need them. Leave them smelling nice and pretty. Of course. And here's the crazy part about it. It's, at first, I was like kind of skeptical, but then they're going to throw in even more things. Boxers and... And a travel kit for you, bro. Draws. You get yeah, boxers you get. and a travel bag, bro. Make sure you right good. now. You order right now. Promise you. That's crazy, right? Very. Here's even crazier, bro. Use our promo code PTP. You get twenty percent off plus free shipping when you go to Manscaped. Dot com. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again, 20%? 20% off, bro. Yo, if they don't. PTP, <laughs> use that promo code, 20% off and free shipping when you go to manscaped.com. So I can breathe better because I have less hair on my nose. Facts. I'll have marble smooth balls. Facts. With crop preserver to have them smelling like he just straight. No freshness. cap. I'm going to have to get me some. No, uh, I ain't gonna lie. No cap. No, <laughs> actually, no. Actually, no cap. I'm gonna, some I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to give me. I'm gonna have to order that now. My balls no never thanked me before. I'm being so for real. And like, I to. genuinely need some. I mean, I mean, so serious as well, bro. What's I'm gonna code? have to give What's me some <laughs> PTP. I get but twenty percent off plus free shipping. Okay, say less. Hey, y'all had to. Lo just went real hard on this ad. So if y'all don't actually get it, we're gonna get real frustrated. Uh, take care of yourself, man. Don't be a disaster down there. You never know when you might have to pull your pants down. Because I ain't gonna lie, yeah, women don't like it smelling down there. So yeah. just one, just clean it up. They're yeah. not they're not cats. They don't like hairballs. Facts. But again, <laughs> promo code PTP, 20% off and free shipping. And again, shout out to manscaped.com. 
for sponsoring the video. Also, Mike Tyson in um, Punch Out, Knockout. Don't, don't spoil it. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to talk about his no, fight. No, no, no. Mike yeah. fight tonight? Yeah. 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 And Jake no. Paul and uh, yeah. Nate Robinson? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? Um, I, I haven't. I actually think I, Nate Robinson might lose. Yeah. What? Jake to Jake Paul? Paul? Jake Paul. It's something about, I don't know, this is not. Are they doing weight classes? I, I don't know about it's that, but it's something not. about white boys. White boys be fighting. Like It's like they don't feel pain. And like they've been training. Like Nate Robinson is good, but it's, it's stacked against them. It's that against that, That's what I was telling you earlier. I don't he got more to lose than Jake. Yeah, I don't understand why people think that because it's like plenty of people who are like regular martial artists who just flat out said like they can beat Bruce Lee. And people think that like that's so crazy. But like Bruce Lee is so skinny that if you if we're talking about 40, 50, 60 pounds out of your weight class, it becomes extremely difficult. To beat them, even if there is a massive gap of experience, exactly. You just it's the certain things you just can't do, and so the physical advantage that or the physical disadvantage at least for um, Nate Robinson that he has to go up against just because how short he is. Yeah, but assuming that he's, he's not really a fighter either. He's a well, basketball neither, player. Neither one of them are fighters. He's, he's, but but Jake, Jake's been fighting for a minute though, because his brother's been fighting, so they've been doing the same thing together. They got a boxing ring in their house. He's been training. He just been waiting for the perfect challenger to do it, and whoever was going to take him. Nobody wanted to fight him, but that dude's crazy. Like, yeah, I, I'm curious to see how that plays out. I think uh, he's gonna win. Uh, he has an advantage, but I just think that Nate Robinson's gonna be in better condition. And when you think about the YouTuber fights that went on over the last few years, it was it was it's usually decided in the later rounds by whoever had the most stamina was the one that ended up winning. Very true. That's fair. Yeah. So That's I fair think Nate sense. Robinson just maybe to outpace him because you don't need to be bigger than the person. You just need to yeah, be able true. to because that's part of being physical too is just your ability to. Uh, when I just want to see who's, who's who do you think is stronger though. I'm probably Jake Paul. Maybe no, it's I'm like, probably still, maybe Nate Robinson. It's like over time, I, I think it's probably closer than probably people. Well, Nate Robinson's also like fucking thirty five or something, right? Thirty six. Yeah, and I'm Jake Paul is like what's the size of it? You know the stats, the sizes. How tall is Nate? I know he's not that small. Five eight maybe. Yeah, he's like five eight five. Nine. How tall is Jake? Six two. Probably, I think. Yeah. His reach is already longer. That's what I'm saying. He's already this, stronger. This, this already. Well, I don't know if he. I don't know if he's stronger, but I just know. I, I don't know for for his height. No, nah, Nate. Nate, I'll is, give Nate, Nate the is Nate is definitely strong. I give Nate the strength, but Nate got to. He got to have to take more hits to get hits. He's definitely going to have to get take hit more hits. More. Yeah. He's going to have to be at a block because his reach, like Jake, can hit him before he even get close. Yeah, his reach is not. So he's going to have to get hit, take some hits to lay some hits. Mm. But if he lay harder hits than Jake, then he now, might be, that right hit would do it, though. Now, the real question is Tyson versus um, Roy Jones Jr. Well, is, I don't know about And I'm going to tell you right now, I, sw- I swear, I think Tyson could still to this day, with the, if it one good hit lands, that nigga will put somebody in I the agree, emergency room. Actually, yeah. Like, just, just quickly. If, one, if, if Roy Jones come out there, Roy, Roy Jones come out there slow footed, that nigga, he will get knocked out quickly. I don't care how old Tyson is. I would never in my life want to get in a, in a ring with him because ah, I be at eighty. I feel like I might be bold enough. Ah, uh, okay. But I be seeing I be seeing him still practice. Yeah, that boy be. And I be like, you, you, you still you still getting like that? Oh, dangerous. You still? And how, can, still how come you don't care when he's still, going? Oof, oof. How come you don't care when he does oh, yeah, it? Because that nigga can beat my ass. That's why I don't care. And, yeah. and you can't. Yeah, agent can't beat my tomorrow, ass tomorrow. Tomorrow you can come. You know, but you. I mean, so serious. You don't want me. Low, please. Stop, stop. It would be. Uh-oh. I would. I. You have no idea Uh-oh. the joy it would bring me. The joy. You have no you idea. Don't, you don't want it. I'm oh, being so. Say you don't want that. You have no clue how happy that would make me. Oh, and man. you. And you saying that, but let's be honest, you wouldn't. You know. I'm telling you, I do though. No, you just saying that just because the camera's on. As soon as the camera's gonna be like, ah, just stay at home. Oh, you think so? I know so. Type of guy. Nah. Yeah. Oh. You. You remember that in in the in the AMP boxing video that we did? I was not scheduled to fight Duke. I decided to because of content, even though I knew what the does result. That have to do anything? So if I wasn't afraid to fight Duke 45, 50 pounds bigger, then why would I be afraid to fight you when I'm in better shape than I was you back then? And an you're issue. not as nearly as scary as Duke. Oh, you're not scary shit. at all, really. So you're a cupcake. That's what he's saying. He's saying shit sweet. That's what he's saying. Real sweet, man. Said super sweet. Splendor. Real he's sweet. Splendor. Real sweet. Artificial sweet. That's yeah, what he's saying. I can't I can't lose to a person. That gets his nipples sucked. Like I just oh, and you would. There. That's the crazy part. You actually would too. I would, you I went would. there. You would. You <laughs> went there. The crazy part about it is you actually <laughs> would. Okay, you, you might. Would. You might like it though, because you also like to get dominated. Damn, low. Wow. Come on, low. Come on, so low. Not, but not by a man. Whoa. 
Oh, okay. I didn't know yeah, you didn't no, clarify that earlier. Yeah, there needs to be some clarification. Okay. But that'd be crazy because if you got knocked out, which no, you, probably get, you, nipple you probably wouldn't get knocked out, but you would definitely lose to a nigga who just get his nipple licked literally moments before he rolled. Wow. Yeah, yeah you, you got in the back room. Like, like, all right, go ahead, before baby. he came to the fight. <laughs> You got beat by a nigga with pre sucked nipples. Yo, could never. Imagine if a nigga walked out in the ring and his nipples were on hard, his ring. hard and slightly damp, <laughs> and you lost to him. That'd be tough. Yo, <laughs> lost to a nigga with slightly damp, hard nipples. Yo, Them Swiss blade nipples. I can never talk to you ever again in life, bro. Just call that a rap, bro. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna learn uh, jujitsu though, bro. That's gonna be dope for me. I you hope know you do, bro. Jiu-jitsu is like a, it's like a fun activity. He said, I hope you do. Like, that's the only thing that's going to save you from him. <laughs> huh? No, I mean. Not, not me. We boxing, not, not fighting. We was fighting, fighting. Yeah. We couldn't do that either, so. Yeah, you would have an advantage if we fought, fought. Yeah, I know. you're bigger now. Yeah, I know. Um, Experience alone. No, no, no. Just because of your size. <laughs> Ex- exclusively due to your size. Exper- experience alone, bro. But uh, anyway, uh, mixed martial arts trainers hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I'm on that. I'm on that, man. You want to train with me tomorrow? No. Right, I, was, so. I thought you was fighting tomorrow. No, I just, just train, you know what I'm saying? Watch some YouTube videos, practice some moves, shit like oh, that. Oh, you say you want to spar with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. let you know yeah. that you don't want no real problems. Yeah, I ain't say it. He said it, but I ain't say you it. But I just say it. Sparring and training are two different things. That's yeah. no sparring. It's training. It's training, bro. <laughs> no. So what you want to do? We could do whatever you want to do. You want to spar? We could do whatever you want to do. You don't want to do it, agent. Yeah, you oh, want that oh, shit. Right? I can't. I can't make you sore before the main event. Oh, sore. <laughs> oh, my. what you gonna be doing to me, bro? Pause, 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 pause. I can't have you in an A and P video talking about yo. Nah, this nigga low really wore me out. Like. Pause, pause, hey, pause, Hey, no pause, cap. Pause. <laughs> Whoa, what's pause. up with you, bro? Low hey, you are right one. Like, what's going on? Yo, pause, pause. Yeah. Pause, pause, man. Let me throw that bottle away, or are you just gonna keep dangling it? <laughs> oh, yeah, what is it? Oh. Low, it's kind of quick, though. You saw them shoulders moving? Do them do that thing again, Low? Show them how them shoulders move? Just let y'all know I made, I made that one. It hit the wall. I it didn't even stuff. make it. I know it hit the, the hit the wall and it went. It hit like the wall. Oh, so you just times. lie about these now. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the new meme. Got it. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! He actually looks like a pitcher for half of that, like a, like a like a goddamn uh, closer for the Blue Jays. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, bro! Man, Yo, that's crazy. Anything else we gotta talk about before we wrap up the podcast? Yeah, we gotta wrap this shit up, bro. I gotta go record a couple of videos. And then I gotta go to sleep. Wait, you know, bright and early tomorrow nine. John, any 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 important um subject? Um, I just said no So yeah Are you sure? I just said that shit bro Just came out of my mouth Are you sure? Yeah I'm Gucci you know I'm, I'm, I'm Gucci find me a MILF Oh that's what he up to tonight Okay That find me a new one. Oh, A nut You gotta have, you gotta have a, you, gotta have a you just told there. the story And you found a new one After already you gotta find a new one man. Oh I got I got my PS5 Where's it at? Congrats man Downstairs Got my shit three also, weeks ago Also um Lil uh, Wayne is dropping uh, No Ceilings 3 I uh, know I heard Friday. DJ Khaled Won't Friday stop talking for- or For real? Probably already dropped. It said Friday. I saw it a couple of days ago, but I don't know if it meant this Friday or next Friday. They gotta be talking next Friday. Yeah, it's, I don't think it should drop. But DJ Khaled has been promoing the soul out of it though. It I drop? peep. I peep. All right, man. Oh, Fellas. he dropped. He dropped. Oh, oh shit! Then I. That's what I need to be doing, bro. Yeah, yeah no cap. No ceilings. No ceilings. No nah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one, y'all. No cap. Great. Um, yo, so with all that being said, people, next episode we'll give you all a lyric breakdown. Um uh, yep, yep, yep. And a review, in depth review. Yeah, in depth yep. review. Um anything else you gotta say? Nah, that's it. John, anything else you gotta say? Nah. Yeah. That's nah, all good, man. All love out there, man. So with that uh, being said, <clears throat> shout out to all my podcast people was ro- ah, shout out to all my podcast people out there rocking with us on another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast. Make sure y'all check us out every Monday and Thursday. We drop it on audio platforms, Google Play, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, on Apple. Make sure you give us a five star. And on top of that, in the um, comments. Fuck stuff, Audio Mac. Leave um, Toddler. Leave Toddler. 
Um, huh? Also on yeah, that's what we that's what we leaving. Also um, on video platforms, YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a comments in the comment section below. Yeah. And once you get done with all that, then make sure you get updated every single time we drop these videos. Hit the notification Yo. bell so you can join. Know the gang, 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 gang. And shout out to all my word of mouth people out there on uh, on all platforms. Twitter, IG, and TikTok. Yeah, 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 and Facebook.